Yes, Kiza, let's let's share some stuff about you and heartbreak. How? Uh, actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna prompt you. You just tell us tell us something. I'll tell tell you, tell you something you about. Oh yeah, hi. Uh, on campaign here, my character his name is Akizva, uh, aka Heartbreak, and something about Akizva from his childhood is that he grew up on Cradle, <laughs> and Cradle, because of uh, ec ecological collapse in the past, has a lot of crabs. So he would definitely <laughs> go to the beach and try and get soft crabs. <laughs> he would try and get soft crabs on him, and he would come back uh, completely covered, pinched in crabs from, like, that was his party trick on the beach, is that he could get a bunch of, of crabs to snap onto him. I love it. Good old crabs. All right. So, so you don't, Akiva doesn't have crabs. Akiva has been pinched by a crab. Exactly. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Just trying to clear the wall. I hear the crab guy. whisper. Oh my God. Um, uh, big boozer. My God, you ask me right while I'm inhaling. Uh, hi, I'm Siege. I recently hit a thousand followers on Twitter. Congrats. Dick pick forthcoming. Um, <laughs> Fun things about Big Buso. The the one thing that I haven't really had a chance to explore for him yet, but I definitely want to play up, is that while his dad was probably just some guy, his mom <coughs> was somebody that worked very closely with Sangomas. So part of his childhood is like, oh yeah, my mom was a super spy, I think. And like, he's just now old enough that he's figuring out some shit of like, huh, my mom might have like done some really shady shit in her past. Hmm. So Ooh, yeah, yeah. I remember you told me that. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. I love yes. the idea of Big Buso being somewhat of a mama's boy and just being like, Do you think my mom would do that? Just tell go out and tell me lies. <laughs> Working 100%. for Sangomas. But 100%. that's that's his fun fact. Okay. Nice. Uh Riho. <clears throat> I so so this is this is the deep lore behind Riho. So by the way, who um, are you? Oh right, right. Hello, I'm Clara. I'm Bubblegum Titan. I do things. Mm -hmm. Uh so so Riho though, and her deep lore. So um if you think about it, right, this is like way in the future and there's totally all of these old T V cartoons and shit from like back in our day, like modern times and shit. But it's been like yeah. corrupted over the centuries of like digital decay and translation problems and all this other shit. So with that in mind, I want to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Naval Lunar Recon <laughs> series star. Naval Lunar Recon. <laughs> Who is this? Just think this about is it. <laughs> Naval Lunar Recon N L R. No, doesn't it sound like the sickest show? Probably involves <laughs> mechs and shit. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah yes, it yes. totally does. It's Sailor Moon. Um, oh, okay. okay <laughs> so basically, okay. Oh, Riho back in the day, this is where she got all of her weird inspiration for like magical girl shit. But everyone is like, wow, that's so weird. Where did it come from? This has nothing to do with like aesthetics that you see in Lance or literally ever. This is weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's because of that show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Naval Lunar Recon. All right. AKA Sailor Moon. Okay. <clears throat> I will uh, go watch a couple episodes now so I can. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Perfect. Yeah. To get um, the true effect, <laughs> definitely mix in a couple of the live action episodes, like at random. There's live action? No. Yes. Oh, yes. No. Watch it in Just Japanese watch it out of order. Portuguese subtitles. Yeah. And what? switch up your dub at random. <laughs> No, okay. we, I just imagined that Riho had to deal with the worst quality, like... Every generation you know, has like, to deal with the worst quality adaptation of Sailor Yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, I got one, episodes one through four, like, the, the OG English dub, and then, like, four through five were the Japanese live action, and then after that, it was Portuguese, it was weird. <laughs> and then the video the, was, the like, so corrupted at that point, like, he was like, how are they doing damage? It's probably their hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cue the uh, auto cannon here. Um, what about you, uh, Volare? All right. Uh, Rico <clears throat> likes to act like he's an impartial scientist who uh, is, you know, <clears throat> has always been aware of the sort of corruption that uh, Harrison Armory has gotten itself into. But having grown up on a planet. Uh, the basically owned by Harrison Armory, he fully, when he was like younger, was like super into the Harrison Armory propaganda stuff. Like he was like all mm. for the Harrison Armory military and 
securing their victory across the galaxy and fighting for the cause. Not so much anymore, but uh, you bad that was boy. that you was him. John, you got a you got a John Harrison Cretan Bible by you. <laughs> uh, definitely uh, has some of his uh, so writings laying around somewhere, probably stuffed oh, into a shit. backpack that he uh, doesn't care about anymore. But uh, yeah, that used to be him. Is it That's posted on? What your, is in? Is it posted on your Twitter that you never post to? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're you're like obligated to post verses from the John Harrison Creighton Bible on your Twitter now since you have no other, <laughs> no other tweet. My people yep. are, the one him. follower I have that doesn't know me personally is going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, why does he keep this? saying why is glory to humanity ever ascendant? <laughs> yeah. I think he's a fascist. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, you can follow Ryan on uh, even more Ryan's on Twitter. Oh yeah, I don't think uh, I ever said I'm Ryan. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're um, so bad at this. Uh, I know. I man. don't do let's podcasts, just, man. I'm let's just be bad for the future. Bad and crooked rolls. Third time's the charm. Like... The the two people that like watching let's plays in this format, they'll like it. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, we, we've got thousands of viewer, viewers you don't even know yet we've got thousands of viewers i'm sure out there somewhere maybe i don't know um and uh gm shaka trey uqua station twitter let's do it um so who remembers where we were last session on plymouth rock last time someone was we about were... to get shot correct oscar had Everybody threatened in the club to go after shot. the mysterious political leader Ivana, last name here. De Leon. Uh, Ivana De Leon, yes. Yes. And we were attempting to perhaps calm him down uh, after he, he has now been told that uh, she's up to some shady stuff. Uh, and the uh, rest of us are, well, most of us don't even know that that's why he's doing this. Um. Yeah, we're all winding around, having, patting each other on our backs in a Kizvo, I'm sure, sweating bullets. Are you going to yeah. share something with the class? Oh, yeah, let me uh, bring you guys over to the uh, scene as we pick up just where uh, um, Valari said. We are at the training grounds of Tyst, as you all have just taken down team suit in a practice mission with sherman william paint rounds tm trademark um uh it was a it was a good battle uh but you guys uh were trailing in the beginning and eventually you came to the end and controlled the area and uh well yeah we're able to take down team suit but in the end old heartbreak kizva divulged some information to oscar and where we'll pick up is oscar is loading up the truck that is nearby uh, and is suited up in his hard suit and has his uh, phaser rifle uh, fixed to his back. What do you guys do? I'm going to, I'm going to rush over to the rest of you for help. Uh, so Akizva, well, yeah, Akizva uh, the, the, uh, the crab, uh, Bobcat Pierce uh, will move back towards you and then I'll get out of it as it the core power on it finally breaks and frays and it starts overheating and I hop out of the mesh. Uh, uh, can I uh, can I get you everybody for a quick word real quick? We just need to uh, huddle up over here. Off-worlder meeting real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I told Oscar. I, ga I, gave, him, I gave him an impression. And he it seems to have put the pieces together that uh, Vonda de Leon is maybe not his ally. Uh, and he's decided to go about this less tactically than any of us might have wanted to and uh, attempt to assassinate her. When you uh, say him an impression, how strong of an impression are we talking? Yeah, this is a very strong impression. I would I would say I was aiming for about a six out of ten in on the intensity <laughs> scale, and he is at full like he's 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 ready to he's he's ready to make very overt moves that I think are going to get him killed because I don't think he understands the considerable power that De Leon wields over him as just an average soldier. 
Right, he is definitely like at least a 9.2 over there. Um, should we go talk to him before he storms off think... and kills himself uh, via yeah. Uh, Ivana? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I Great. really appreciate this. <laughs> cool. Uh, if you all yeah. want to approach over, um, Enios will join you all. And uh, go ahead, Buzo. No, I was just thinking to myself, like, would he, would Buso be amused at watching him do something incredibly stupid? Would it be worth ch- uh, tipping off his commanding officer and being like, hey, is that your man over there? And just watching what happens. But everyone else yeah. seems to have a good idea. So I'll just follow. Yeah, I'm I'm curious how the rest of Team Suit is uh, reacting to his announcement that he's going to go kill a major political leader of the planet. Well, you you told um, <clears throat> you told Helen, and I think someone else told Quaylar, which is the team's leader, that uh, that it was he's just upset or whatever, and mm-hmm. he's just kind of walking away. And they're like, okay, yeah, I mean, they pretty much believe that. And so uh, Quaylar is probably talking with Enayash right now, going over the the you guys' performance in the battle, and he's probably giving her an assessment and whatnot. Uh, Cooley is probably getting off her mech, kind of wiping off the paint off the exterior of it, and uh, looking at your mech, Buzo, and kind of probably making some assessments about how you'll perform and how well you performed. And Helena seems immensely disinterested with everything going on here. She's just kind of off on her own, probably talking on a data patter or <clears throat> going over uh, any other missions that she may have. Right. Is, is this because her mech was bisected in a <laughs> yeah, training well, like, exercise? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. She challenged me. It was me. dropped. <laughs> Uh, I guess Rico would just rush up to Oscar and be like, okay, let's maybe try to calm down a little bit and like think this through first before we jump to any major actions, maybe, don't you think? Uh, <clears throat> I will hover cool. at a distance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you approach Oscar and you say that to him, he kind of looks at you, uh, kind of like stern face to the side and then ignores the first few minutes of you a few seconds of you talking and kind of like uh uh, takes his rifle off his back checks it a little bit and says are you going to join me or are you going to stand there and talk at me i'm just thinking that perhaps we could take this a little bit more strategically is all i'm saying uh i think if you just charge in there and attempt to assassinate a major political leader of the planet then you are just going to get yourself killed and accomplish nothing that's all i'm saying Listen, I admire your combat prowess, and so I won't come at you rudely, but you're a newcomer here, and this is how the Caliphate Apicia does things. Uh, it, could that possibly be the problem? <laughs> I'll, I'll chime in. From, I'm going to chime in from behind the crates or whatever near me and be like, yeah, you technically work for Helm. I... I, I I, th- I think that we should go about this. The only reason I wanted you to know is so that you could be ready when the time comes. It's not time yet. I mean, she could have us killed for sure. She could have you and your whole family killed. Not to mention the rest of Team Soot. When we strike, we've got to have evidence and we've got to come at her clearly. Oscar kind of contemplates for a second, and he seems a little less gung ho. But he's all he's he's ready to move off in a moment's notice, and he kind of contemplates on what you're saying and says, uh, "Evidence. What do you think is gonna hold up in? It will say court, but it probably isn't like a if the equivalent of court here or whatever. Or it probably is. I don't know. But he'll say, what do you think is gonna hold up in court against her, Yvonne de Leon? <coughs> she can pull strings. She can pull strings." but I don't think that she'll be able to inject code straight into an NHP. Once it's in Heartbreak's, once it's in Heartbreak's matrix, we'll have definitive proof that she's collaborating with the Baronies. Hmm. And so you shared, you shared uh, with him <clears throat> pretty much everything she told mm-hmm. you all, right? Essentially, but okay. not, not locations. And I didn't say that it was her, but he figured it out because he's okay. He's a G. Okay. <laughs> um, um, the if you if you told him stuff about collaborating with the Baronies, mm-hmm. 
he'll interpret it as something more severe than it actually is. And Vanna de Leon is entering in kind of uh, negotiation talks, less about kind of like subterfuge, kind of like you know, underhanded dealings. Mm -hmm. It's she's working well within her capacity. Uh, but if you told Oscar that, he'll believe it that she's collaborating with the Baronies. So she's profiting off of some shady business, but he thinks that she is like plotting She's to a, take down the a whole fifth party. columnist <laughs> yeah yes 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 hmm. so yeah you say that about the the uh the that your nhp heartbreak could uh potentially prove her or incriminate her and uh oscar says well i guess that makes your nhp a very important person how do you suppose or rather if you know this what do you what do you think, uh, Ivana? Doesn't she also know this? I say we go to her straight and take her out. That solves all our problems. My life, who cares of it? It's in service of Tiana. I mean, another one's just going to pop up. She can't be the only greedy thief on this planet. It'll just be another and another unless we undo, unravel the entire conspiracy. And she's certainly not the only person with power uh -oh. and not everyone agrees with her. So do we really want to upset that balance right now without knowing exactly what that's going to do? Yeah. Oscar's going <clears> to <throat> think on this for a little bit because he was pretty dead set on like taking her down, even though he knew he was probably going to go down or whatever. And uh, at this moment, the rest of uh, Team Suit start to approach as they kind of all walk in. And then um, uh, Eniosh kind of walks in too. And uh, they, uh, Eniosh kind of starts off and says, uh, Oscar, well, are, are, you, are you leaving already? We're just going to go over the battle uh, uh, report. There's uh, notes I have for all of you. And Oscar kind of looks at you, Akizva, and uh, cocks his gun. I think he wants to start an international incident. And I'm just going to say that to his uh, commander and watch shit unfold. I think I think we're all fine with waiting a little bit and getting some more information about the battle and how it might help us in the future. Can I use act unseen or unheard to see if I can convince him to at least wait for now? Uh, how would you be using Are you trying to talk I'm, to yeah, him? Yeah, I'm like, trying to innuendo that like we need more information. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, let's see. Come on, buddy. Take an accuracy because you gave him the okay. information. I'll roll that too. So <clears throat> it's a um, oh, it's a seventeen. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, with a uh, seventeen, uh, you're able to convey that message to Oscar, and uh, he kind of puts his uh, phaser rifle back on his back, and, and uh, he kind of just nods at you, and then answers back at uh, Anayash and says. Combat data. Make it quick. Uh, Rico lets out a breath that he didn't realize he was holding. <laughs> <laughs> but so I was watching him squirm uh, under the bulk and brunt of bureaucracy with his commander. Because he, he had a stupid idea, and now he's stuck waiting. <laughs> Nice. Um, so I'm just as a, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, as a, <clears throat> um, you all kind of group up. I'm assuming, and Oscar kind of is not going to go on his uh, his assassination mission or whatever. Uh, Helena kind of uh, starts to walk away, and uh, Quaylar says to Helena, "Helena, Helena, are you not staying for uh, the report? You could, probably could learn something about uh, these Lancers' piloting abilities." And she just kind of looks back casually, not like making eye contact at you all, just kind of looks back casually, still staring down at a data pad. She says, I have other methods that are driving me away. I apologize. I will regroup with you all when uh, I'm back at Djibouti City. Be well. And she just heads off. Well, that's odd. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, I, I, want, I should say this as soon as possible. 
because I was so excited to have the combat things happen last session that I don't think I ever mentioned like where I put that recording device or what happened to it. Um, you did not. You did not. You did not. Uh, oh, you can do a retroactive roll if you want to. I'm sorry? You can do a rec retroactive roll if you want to. Oh, boy. I don't think I have anything that really works with this. Get somewhere quickly. Well, you, would, you would tell me where you wanted to put it, and then uh, I'll... Yeah. I'll, um, I'll I think quarters. he... I suppose that... I mean, he, if Rico would know a lot more about this building than I would. Um, so Rico would be trying to find a place that is useful for seeing who's coming in and out and when i guess um but he still is very wary of sinclair at this point so he's like not trying to give sinclair like a direct line into like everything that's happening in the place you know what i mean um yeah, so if yeah that yeah. kind of place would... exists if he can find something like that that would be where he that would that's what he's looking for yeah, I would say you you probably have like three options. You have the <clears throat> the front gates or the front uh, entry doors into the the building that uh, Helm is in. You actually have like the floor that Helm is Helm is on, and then you have the floor that Ivana de Leon is on. Um, where do you want to place it of those three? Oh, um, Sinclair specifically suspects uh, Helm, right? Correct. E Helm and uh, GDK, so the Grand Duchy of Korea. Okay. Um, I suppose I should give Sinclair what they what he asked for. So I guess I'm gonna put it on the floor, like when, when like a lobby on the floor where uh, Helm takes place. Okie dokie. Um, I'll just say it's probably right. difficult. Oh boy. So there we go. What uh, what trigger are you using? I don't think I have any relevant triggers, really. Get somewhere quickly, investigate, hack, or fix, or... Right. Yeah. That's kind of hacking. <laughs> that didn't seem unheard would be the would be the play. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to do a d20 roll, I guess. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. Am I going to get oh. killed and arrested in that order? <laughs> Um, I would just say I'll give you a decision. Either you placed it and you know someone probably gonna is probably saw you doing it, or some camera saw you do it, um, or you just didn't place it. Oh man. I guess if if my only option is being seen doing this or not doing it, I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to get arrested. Right. Uh day one day what day three of being on this planet. <laughs> okay. With the tense political okay. situation happening. Um, Rico's gonna have to fi try to find another time to accomplish this. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Put cool. you in a cell and forget about you. Convenient. <laughs> yeah. They will. They'll, I'm afraid they're gonna kill me and then arrest me in that order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, yeah, you didn't you didn't place the uh, the camera and probably as you like you're in your hard suit, you kind of look in your uh, I don't know maybe you have like a little uh, uh, compartment in your hard suit and you realize that you know the camera is still in there um and uh so yeah uh okuli is gonna approach you buzo and uh she's gonna come up and say um uh buzo i know we haven't talked much but uh the fighting you did in combat said enough uh you're quite a skilled pilot i do my best to to be the wall in combat you you're pretty mm. gutsy yourself charging something twice your size uh with no backup Yes, well, she looks back at her uh, her Sentinel mech, or uh, <clears throat> yeah, her Sentinel mech, and she says, uh, "Well, I have a bit of faith in where I can place my dagger and where I can shoot my shot." I guess. Fair, fair. So, how do you uh, are you as tense about all of this as Oscar, or as quick to split as Helena, or just here hoping to? get some good advice well uh initially i was just looking to maybe learn a few tips if you had some despair um but uh i usually don't leave Quailar's side she'd be hopeless without me that's that's fair it seems like she has a lot to wrangle and 
after saying that, I'm going to shoot a glance over at Oscar. Um, Akuli, the only advice I have for you is I'm I'm going to point at Quelar and say as as good as uh, she is as a commander, remember that you serve the mob, not her. You're here to protect <laughs> the, the people. Cool. Uh, she'll say, no, yeah, that's, that's a good note. I apologize. Sometimes I forget about the, uh, the reason I'm here. Uh, I don't know if you know, but full disclosure, I have ties to the Grand Duchy of Korea's uh, uh, royalty. I am the cousin of King Manuel Mine, uh, Yemez, but I part of me is like, should I do a obnoxious joke curtsy? But I think Buso, being a punk, would just go, "Huh, neat." <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's she's gonna she's gonna probably expect that you would have like recognized her more like uh, brevity or something, and uh, she's like, "Huh." You are an interesting man. I. When you start looking at the tip tops of places, even even in the Umfakane like sphere of influence, the people at the top usually end up being all the same. It's much more interesting seeing how the the little guys struggle to make stuff work. So, congrats for joining the good side. <laughs> and then I guess I'll give her like a little punch on the arm. Nice. Uh, you do that and she falls down. No, I'm joking. <laughs> she, uh, she, she pulls out a data pad and uh, she actually starts recording, uh, like writing notes, essentially, of what you just said. Um, I'm not Riho that deep, please. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Riho and uh, Akizva. Um, uh, Quelar and Aniash approach you too. And uh, they say, well, first, uh, Quelar says to, to both of you, well, Quite skilled, quite skilled. I uh, am sorry that this is Aniash talking. Well, I think Quelar. I think yes, Quelar. Yeah, at Quelar. She says, uh, "I'm sorry that uh, Helena couldn't stay. I'm sure she could learn a lot from you all too." Um, would you all mind uh, sitting sitting down? Uh, maybe going over uh, the your performance. Absolutely. Sure. I don't see why not. I love a good opportunity to learn from my experiences. Um, so Koilar and, uh, Aniash asks all of you, including Oscar to come into a building where it's just, uh, just the building to the North. It's a small building. It's like almost like a little shack where, um, there's a little radio and, uh, some refreshments that, uh, Aniash had, was sitting there just kind of watching the battle or whatever. And, uh, you all kind of sit down and, uh, around some chairs that obviously there are not obviously but there's definitely not enough chairs for all of you all some 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 of you have to stand and uh Anias, uh says to you all <clears throat> well you all did very well team suit you were beaten suck it up next time uh lancers um by the way i don't know if you all had a name for yourself i can just call you lancers or i don't know did you have a preference I believe that is still to be decided. We just met, what, three days ago? Yeah, you can't drop this You mean like a, like a team name? I feel like we have to earn that. Well, I could I could come up with one for you all, if you if you would ask. Uh, let us think about it. Just, if what? if you have to fill it out for paperwork, just put down um, test name, please ignore. <laughs> she says, uh, all right, a bit unorthodox, but uh, record it. Test name, please ignore. I, I just know that sometimes the paperwork demands it. You know, forever, well, this is how we're going to show up in the paperwork. So, like, anytime someone comes across something about one of our missions, they're going to be like, test name, please ignore. Test what? Name, please ignore. I, can't, I can't wait for everyone who sees us to think that we're just a blip in the system. My God, we just became a black ops group without realizing it. <laughs> I'm the at, shittiest Black Ops group. Just, all of, all of yeah. these missions just keep coming back with errors. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, unless you guys had something specific to say to like Team Suit or to Aniash about your combat performance, she's going to go over the uh, the details of it, probably give you a little bit of advice. Um, uh, she'll, one of the most premier parts of her advice is that she'll say, take out the artillery first. 
it's really important that they don't shell you guys uh, in future encounters. Um, and uh, then she'll, you know, as that goes on, she'll probably lead into something else. But I don't know if you guys had something to say about it or anything. The only thing that Buso would probably mention is that he would call out that, like, yeah, Oscar, like, kicked kicked our ass at the start of this fight, but the idea of you guys acting as a defense force for, like, the Tiest and Helm territories, using a missile platform in, like, I guess in populated areas sounds like a terrible idea. So Buso is going to kind of poke Oscar and be like, I remember you said that you have a another mech like waiting in the garage that you could pilot it it might be good to get in some training with that because if more of these construction bots are going nuts in the city it may not be the best to fire a hail of missiles at like you know a subway entrance oscar has uh, kind of like strokes his little goatee and says uh you know i've considered that before maybe if i Picked up an assassin mech. That would serve many of my purposes. I'm going to just... Okay, sure. After he says that, I'm going to just let him, but I'm going to give him the, like, I am watching you hand motion. <laughs> yeah, if I could, if I could interject... Like, you, know, you can imagine him looking at... Uh, like, putting together schematics for his uh, <laughs> switching from a rainmaker to an assassin. Um, what about y'all? Any rest of y'all? So, so Riho, Riho needs to jump in here. Push He's going to blow our cover. Anyway. Um, I just changed the key thing. Oh, I don't know. I personally I don't know enough about this game tactically to be giving advice to anybody. <laughs> uh, so even if Rico would know something better, I wouldn't know it. So. <laughs> no, I, I would say you all, you all thoroughly impressed. Uh, uh, Riho has student feedback student she and, wants to say. Gosh. Go ahead. Sorry, I failed to push to talk before. So, <laughs> so Riho's feedback isn't about the actual combat. She's really upset that we performed so poorly in getting the objectives early in the game. So she is going to <laughs> make an example. Oh, God. You guys, I know, I know that we came through in the end and we definitely won this match. Great, yay, whatever. But we really need to get it together. So, like, did you notice the team suit early Early on? They had their shit together. They were a well-oiled machine. They went after those objective points, and they made sure that they were there when it counted. We need to get good. <laughs> my, my mech shut down in the middle of the fight. <laughs> you didn't even make it to an objective. I, I'm bigger than y'all. <laughs> I, mean, I did kind of... I did kind of take off there. I forgot that uh, we were not going to be fighting in uh, full 1G. So still not quite used to that. Um, no big deal. Um, also, should I be like doing that more? Should I be getting in there and, and doing the knife thing? Should I be a, should I be a knife guy? <laughs> knife guy. <laughs> I mean, did you enjoy it? Well, I don't think that I don't think that should be the primary qualifier. I don't think I, I don't think who's having the most fun is any way to wage a war as I look around at everybody else. Oh, no. Well, yeah. But when you're going into combat, you might as well at least enjoy what you're doing. Uh, I don't know. I think in the future, I'm going to have even less knife stuff. I think <laughs> that's uh, fine. We will just... figure out everyone's appropriate role on the battlefield. But next time, guys, just don't lose sight of the objectives. That's all I ask. Thank you. Of course. Jeez Louise. Cool. Well, we've all been browbeaten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've been lectured by Rio. Um, Team and Mom. Ash will kind of, <laughs> and Ash will chime in and say, well said, Rio. Um, I won't restate it. You're on point. Well, um, uh, I've said as much as I can. Um, I think uh, if you all um, will take a little bit of time to, to rest, we can get started on what uh, what Helm has set out for you all to go check out that uh, facility in Lower Town, the uh, the monitoring station, the one monitoring the uh, disturbances. 
Right. And as soon as he says that, all four of you get a indication or a ring or a notification on your data pads. Mm. And uh, uh, they uh, are, it is from, it is from the mountain python, Nicole Kriya. And it is asking you all to report and deploy pronto. Is this uh, it? Yes. We oh. are going to go handle talking to that facility as soon as we can. What we've got to, we have a, a separate thing that we have to do. Um, we all signed up to get our... We kind of just need to... Emergency physical. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have to go. So we're going to be going and getting an emergency physical. Every All four of us at the same time. I'm not sure I got all my vaccinations before I landed on the planet. So I have to go do that. <laughs> I need a spinal tap. Terrible cover. <laughs> Oscar's going to stare at you, uh, Kiza, and uh, kind of tap their fingers on the table and have the right hand on their gun. Not like they're going to shoot you, yeah. but like like they're ready. <laughs> they're just ready to shoot you. Okay. Ugh. Well, they're ready to go. They're ready to. They're ready to. Re yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was going to make sure that she like leaves some contact information, like just as a courtesy, and then just sort of kind of bow and try to like rush everyone out. Shit, do I have time to fix my mech? Uh, uh, no. Your mech isn't, it isn't, it isn't, mess, it isn't messed up. It's just paint rounds. Oh, yeah. Nothing, yeah. Now, yeah, some of us did use our core power. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You can get that back. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so um, kind. That is incredibly um, kind it, for you. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I'm not going to make you guys use your, use your core power. Uh, just be warned. With something you used future. your big shit in the tutorial, so you don't yeah, get it anymore. That's so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and Yash is going to say, well, all right, well, I won't interfere. I'll just have Team Suit take over the uh, mech facility. No, no problem. Uh, sure, if that's what we need to do, if it needs to be done right now. No. Uh, Rico is already, like, pressing buttons and some his data pad to, like, get the mech suit ready to do shit. I don't know, probably... Yeah, things. yeah. As you as you get up and walk away, Rico, uh, you're kind of uh, uh, kind of grabbed on the arm by Quailar, and she says, looks at you, and says, "You all aren't fooling anyone. I would just say, watch who will you align yourself with." You are correct. Uh, that's very true. Uh, we have not been here very long, and so uh, we have realized that people are very quickly trying to tell us we need to take sides, and it's frankly a little bit overwhelming but we do have to go right now unfortunately i'll wait for your return well that was frank <laughs> yep <Yeah, laughs> pretty frank <laughs> um um so yeah you all uh, head out um on your on your uh, data pads or on these slates you have been given coordinates to load up to a uh sort of a, a drop ship or a plane that will take you a vessel that will take you some mini Many hours away, some 20 hours away, to a base uh, that is a nickname, code name, Scabbard Theta. Um, that is a place that uh, uh, Ivan de Leon wants you to go and save lives. And so as you depart from this mech training facility, um, I, assuming you're, you're taking your mechs with you. Uh, of course. As and probably like load onto yep. your truck. And, mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. You all uh, load your mechs on. Some of them are besmirched with paint. Uh, in ways, um, but uh, you, know, you probably have no time to like, clean them up. But uh, yeah, I would say there's like there's a truck over here that you can just like load your mechs up onto, and uh, you can head out for the uh, the coordinates. Fine. Um, but before you all leave, you can change around stuff on your mech if you want to like switch around uh, like systems or whatever, depending on like you know your performance in the last encounter. Um, well, I know what I'm doing. I didn't get to use all my fun stuff yet, so. <laughs> I'm sticking with what I have right now. I wouldn't even know what to change, TBH. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, me, uh, let me activate this one so you can you can go to the other. Besides, map. I'm much more concerned about cleaning the paint off my pigtails. Ooh, la la. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the wrong one. Oh, ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore it's that. It's too late. Turn your eyes. Recording. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. <laughs> oh, man. I should really not name these things very similarly. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Um, and let us play. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as you all are switching on your mechs, if you choose to um, getting them adjusted and ready to head out, a lot of <laughs> you get 
yeah you get a uh, you get more information from uh the mountain python uh um or from Ivan de Leon by the way of the mountain python uh he his uh, visage kind of pops up uh, in a holographic form i'm assuming you guys are probably around like a mech hanger or something like that kind of uh, making adjustments his visage pops up in a kind of a holographic form that all of you all can see um and uh he mentions that your your uh this mission that Ivan de Leon is putting you all on will be two-parted it will be first to make the long journey uh, up to scabbard theta and drop some few miles outside of the base where you will uh, approach uh, in an inconspicuous way to make sure not to alarm any uh, wait, lying in wait caliphate of Pisha um, uh, operatives. And then when you get to the base, uh, make sure you uh, save anyone that's, that's there. That sounds good. All right, let's get it. Um, Out of character. So, yeah, I'm so uh, excited. <laughs> so I just had... Uh, Rico is taking it very seriously, but I'm like, yes, let's do I it. I just had my Chrome crash, so that happened. Um, I joined okay, back yeah. Zencaster. I'm hopping back in with everything else. All right. uh, okay, cool. We'll wait for the uh, the Chrome to reload. <laughs> but, um, as, uh, as you all are getting your mechs ready, is there any special... Uh, um, rituals you all do for for your mechs. I don't know if like you know this is your first live combat, so uh, or presumed live combat. Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, hmm. Just uh, testing out, but like flying about. Like, there's not a lot of space in the hangar that we're in. So, but uh, Rico's mech is just kind of flying back and forth, testing out, making sure everything works properly and. You probably get yelled at by a Tice operative and say, "Come on, it's a hangar. Come on now, take that outside." <laughs> All right. Uh, Riho would definitely like. I mean, just like before you go into a match, you gotta stretch and you gotta hydrate and do all that shit. She'd be like doing the same thing for her mech, so she'd be like just doing like a general like safety check and shit, and just making sure that like all the systems are good to go. Cool. Yeah, you probably get approached by some other like uh, Tice operatives. Um, you know, in the same outfits and stuff as team suit, and they're probably looking up your mech up and down, and then they double take and look at you again, like, hey, "You're, you're, you're Riho." Yes, I am. Hello. Can I, can can I get your auto, can I get your autograph? And then, as that say as as they say that, like, maybe like four other people come up, like mechanics and such, come up to you and start begging you for your autograph and asking you to do like your little uh your little slogan thing. The finger guns. <laughs> Rio finger guns. is yeah. delighted. So she <laughs> she like jumps out and just like like really like strike it up and like do the little like finger gun finger pose and like do the whole nice. see you in the ring guys and then wave and be all like kawaii and like I don't know offer photo ops or some shit. Nice. Yeah, you, uh, you see them all swooning. Oh, that's wrong. That's all wrong. No, that's all right. Yeah, you see them all. Uh, you see them all swooning. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. Rico just busted. Internally, she's like, yes, more fans. <laughs> um, and uh, Akiza, are you taking a heartbreak with you? Yes. Uh, heartbreak, I'm going to, yeah, the module's going to get plugged into it, and uh, Heartbreak's going to bring everything online, and I'm just going to, uh, you can see Akizva is there. He's kind of smiling and waving and very cavalier, and as soon as the cockpit shuts when we're doing that, he's just like white knuckles sitting in the in the seat just like holding on and getting ready and trying to just like keep breathing oh white no guys and like nervous yeah like he's, uh, okay. he gotcha. very much does not know what he's doing okay yeah uh i would imagine probably heartbreak is is there uh uh probably calming you down or trying to calm you down or like probably telling you something what did you say what did you say probably telling yeah, you there's a lot that. of yeah, there's a lot of like, videos and... coming up. There's a videos. There are videos of like crabs and cats like playing or like, you know, those dodo videos where this animal and this yeah. animal are an unlikely yeah. pair. Like all of those just like keep popping up Crabbing and lots of pop ups. Yes. Friendship. Oh, my God. 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 Vince, we need you to doodle that stat. Yeah. So <laughs> so all of those. And he's just he's just sitting there and just waiting and waiting. Uh, as we, as nice. we, I, I assume, are traveling by air to get there. 
Yeah, yeah, about to load up. Uh, Buzo, any uh, special uh, rituals as you load up into your uh, Sire Mafa? I, I will clean enough paint off. Um, it is obviously still a little dirty in the cracks. I don't care. Um, <laughs> nice. At at this point, I'm I I feel like I'd be like kind of perched on an open cockpit, kind of staring staring out onto the horizon, seeing stuff get loaded up, wondering what we could be facing. I might mention to someone, you know, I got deployed before. I had to fight a meatball. I had to fight a meatball in space. Yeah, you see, you see someone uh, like uh, uh, kind of like taking a sorry gun to your your mech's uh, foot, or whatever, to like kind of uh, take off some paint or whatever that's been extra stuck in there. And they're like, "What'd you say? Spaghetti in space? In space? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. You don't need to worry about the toe jam. It adds uh, uh it adds flavor. All right. All right. Uh, all right. They probably hear them muttering to themselves as they walk away. These fucking masters are so fucking weird. And uh, yeah, they, they everyone, everyone from off world has stupid nonsense uh, habits. Nice. Yeah, as you Just guys are doing that, uh, <laughs> exactly. As you guys are doing the uh, kind of like uh, uh, suiting up sequence, uh, you hear like a large kind of like plane fly overhead. It's like coming, coming, coming in for a land, and it's kind of like shaking the exterior of this hangar. Uh, some minutes later, it starts to kind of back in and you start to see some, the, the hangar doors open and you start to see, uh, some people with like little airport, um, cones or whatever, kind of waving back and stuff. And like, ding, 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 you hear a whole bunch of like, you know, backing up sounds and, you know, eventually you, this is your transport ship that will be, uh, loading up your mech. So the, uh, the drop doors kind of drop down and, uh, you all are instructed to, uh, Put, load your mechs on board. Um, there will be a pilot here on this mission with you, uh, but they are just a TICE pilot. Uh, actually, no, they are a, a GDK pilot. They're not uh, actually TICE because um, they're going somewhere. Uh, right. okay. um, so yeah, you all, uh, as you all load your mechs on and get them affixed into the interior of this hangar, it's a really large ship. It's like a, it's like a, a, a bomber, like a, a stealth bomber type type ship. So it looks, it looks pretty well funded and and, and not. Not an Inficani maker or whatever, but yeah, as you all load your your mechs on board, the uh, the pilot's gonna kind of come over the comms and say, "Are you all ready?" Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I give a pound on like the inside of my cockpit and say, "Good to go." All right. Can you forward me the mission parameters? I wasn't told. Uh, no, we just have a location. I don't think we have any mission parameters yet. It's another malfunction. All right, send those over. Send them the coordinates. All right, you send them the coordinates, and some a launch uh, kind of initiation starts to kind of fire as the engines of the ship load up. You start going down the runway, making a couple turns, and eventually you start to take off uh, into uh, leaving leaving uh, the outskirts of Chiboti and going towards the north, uh, towards uh, the base Scabbard Theta. You know, I really expected there to be a, a little bit of a moment of like, uh, yeah, we can't fly in this airspace or some kickback like that. <laughs> I'm feeling good. You, you all are dropping uh, pretty far out. So it's a GDK base, so um, you can technically you know, fly in the GDK space. Um, but you're dropping pretty far out, so you have to make the trick over there because uh, you don't want to get shot down. So it's uh, as you all get into... Get shot get into, down, huh? Yeah, exactly. We're just going to uh, defend, huh? <laughs> yeah. Aren't we? Yep. <laughs> with, oh, with the As you all... Uh... Yeah. What... Go ahead, go ahead. Would the defender shoot us down? I mean, I'm concerned. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, As you all leave... Uh... The Chiboti airspace, Tice airspace, and cross across uh, the Sea Tano airspace and a couple couple inlaid uh gulfs uh and such you head to the north of the planet of tiano the landscape charts uh kind of changed uh, a subtle bit and mostly it's tropical and such but as you reach the grand duchy of korea it starts to get a little bit more like arid tropical um as you you know you have you have shrubbery and such but um the kind of uh the bushes and stuff you kind of see from on high are are kind of sparsed out and it's more of this uh plain ground and canyons and, and such. less le less leaves more grass 
Exactly. Mm. Uh, as you approach via airship, you hover high above a barren rocky crevasse that stretches for miles. A crack running down the neck of Tiano. It undulates, expands, and contracts, leaving portions wide enough even for a plane to land safely down. You think to yourself, it's no wonder that the GDK are able to hide a facility down here. Your pilot says, It's best if we put you down right here, just a couple miles out, uh, a couple miles trek inward. Shouldn't be too long uh, if you're in mechs. And uh, he says, uh, Hang on, let's go. The pilot brings a transport down low. Your mechs are equipped with landing retro thrusters and parachutes. As you load up, the bay doors open and crack, uh, leaving uh, your 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 exit kind of open or whatever. And then the tracks that your mechs are affixed to start kind of like bring you out and kind of bring you around the, the, this hangar and, and will just drop you literally outside the back of this uh, this um, uh, this ship. And you're gonna make a soft landing in a canyon. Dope. So yeah, you all come out and make a soft landing in this canyon that uh, is quite large, but the portion that you all are in is uh, actually isn't large enough to fly to land a plane. And it's just, uh, it's kind of uh, scattered with rocky columns and sporadic trees and uh, air and grass that's patchy in many areas. And uh, as you all land and are probably trekking forward for a little bit, uh, maybe, I don't know, a couple 10 minutes and so, you start to see uh, holes in the, in the exterior of this canyon. It's like it, it um, uh, uh, kind of bars you on both ends or whatever. So uh, these canyons are maybe like some 80 feet tall. You start to see these like large like caves uh, start to kind of um, almost like termite holes in, in, these, in these canyons that uh, start to be more frequent as you're moving forward. I was really concerned um, it was going to be like Junji Ito holes for a minute there. <laughs> no. Seeing that, uh, Rico's going to go on the comms and ask uh, Buso probably, uh, hey, uh, I'm seeing a lot of caves on the other side of this canyon. Are there like any megafauna we need to be worried about on the way over here? I've never been here. And those don't look like they were man-made. Uh, I mean, I haven't yeah, been here a, much we, longer than you. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll I'll get a little bit closer to one at least. I don't know, like one hex away or the equivalent, mm -hmm. and just kind yeah, of peer yeah, yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah, they're most of them are, are are kind of high up midway up uh, mid wall on the on the caverns, but there's probably like a smaller one down low, and yeah, it's. It's probably the size of a five foot tall person, kind of five feet wide and such. So you have to like bend down a little bit to really, really inspect it. Uh, but it looks like it's uh, made by uh, not naturally occurring. So it's it's probably made by a uh, creature of sorts. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Rico is now looking on his Omni Slate, like trying to look up like dangerous creatures of Tiano. I mean, and scaring the shit out of himself. <laughs> I guess at at this point, I'll just put my like Saga Martha like hand next to the hole and be like, I don't see the big deal. <laughs> as a as a size two mech, I don't see the big deal. <laughs> are you are you putting it in front of the hole to like block it or what? What are you doing? It, just like sizing up next to it, like oh, okay, he just okay, flexed gotcha. in. Yeah, just like I, I don't I don't see the big deal. I'm so big. I don't get why you're mad. Got you. Um, who has the highest? Oh, you guys are all in uh, Everest. Who has the highest system score? Um, I have systems. Uh, mine's plus one. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. Oh uh, yeah, all my right. system uh, is plus one too. All right, will. either either uh, either uh, Valari or uh, Heartbreak. One of you. Um, Valari, you've probably got better better vantage point because you can fly so you go ahead and do it i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> um what? give me a actually if you can fly maybe you can give me uh, yeah systems will work systems will work uh, but if you're if you're flying checking out one of these holes uh, uh give me a one with accuracy okay if you say so you so Valar, you take off your flight systems activate and uh, you start to hover above your team and you see as you kind of go higher up you see that these holes are much 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 wider some 30 feet wide so 30 feet tall as you go up mid wall on the on the cavern 
Alright, accuracy roll. Nice. Uh, that's a big old spot. Nice. Korean. Yes. Um, with the 20, your mech uh, kind of compares the the um, the types of creatures that are seen on Tiano with the types of creatures that can make this hole. And there are several, maybe some 20 or 30 that pop up. Most of them are marine. Uh, there's a couple that are terrestrial that pop up on your mech systems and your comp kind of just kind of display them in front of you. One of uh, the creatures uh, that seems to make sense that these holes are formed by are called a spine warper. Sounds they come bad. in many different, many different forms. Uh, most notably, there's a spine warper hero, there's a spine warper gnat, there's a spine warper whelp. Uh, oh, no. They are very, very territorial and um, operate off uh, pheromones. The spine warper gnats are suicidal, kind of like kamikaze uh, uh, kind of versions of the spine warper. Um, Maybe you get all this from just yeah you get all this from just looking at this this hole, uh, but soon after that uh, you see kind of like moving slowly out of this hole a pair of wings flap flap out and they're like they're like carapace wings almost like beetle wings and they're the size of uh, maybe like ten or so feet or so ten you know ten by ten or whatever uh, it's pretty large bigger than a human they flap out and this thing kind of like spits out you see like these like tendrils that kind of like almost like an octopus mouth that kind of like come out and kind of make the screeching noise <laughs> and it flies out and then starts to like fly at your neck as these two big pincers start coming at your neck oh no and as that happens we will start the combat oh no right when i was googling it <laughs> uh, <no>. and... <laughs> You can't Google a spine warper. <laughs> um, let me play this. Yes. They're as so you all arrive. Angry. Oh, yeah. As you all. Uh, and uh, Valara, you can be an heir if you want to. Um, I mean, if is it, is it going to give me heat, though? That's the problem. Um, no, we'll say it's not going to give you heat. Okay, you know, it would make sense, I guess, for him to be, like, right in front of one of the holes, I guess. Cool. If that's what he was doing. Um, yeah, yeah, you can totally do that. Um, so yeah, as, uh, you can, uh... Or maybe just, here. maybe he just, if, if you don't want me to start, like, way out in the middle of the battlefield, maybe it better, I'd just be like, all right, as soon as he sees that, flies Fly away back. right back yeah. towards the rest of the group, like, oh shit, guys, 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 guys! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You see a spine warper. Uh, well, it's not as maneuverable in the air as you are, so it just kind of like jumps, flies, almost like jump jet flies, and then an arcing motion and lands on the ground and then flies back over to the to the cave. Um, you all see two another spine warper whelp in the northwest kind of emerge out of a cave, and then you have four spine warper gnats that pick up on your uh, next comms. You pick up heat signals that uh, these things are here to stop you. Your mission is to get to the other side by the end of round six. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right. These yeah, things will keep on coming uh, as uh, you can expect that there's a lot of these caves and they're going to keep on coming out. We have entered Florida. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, I'm looking at this me, and I'm getting very yeah. scared because I don't know where I could fit my mech other than the dead center. Can I go to the top or is it? No, you cannot. You can fly over that first hex if you can, like, vertical, horizontal jump over it. You can, you can kind of fly. This, this is the hex that's going to give you problems right here, because uh, yep. you don't have enough size to fit through. No, nope. uh, you can, you can kind of jump over or, or something like that. But the uh, the map is, uh, yeah, the columns in the middle middle are thirty foot tall pillars of hard cover. These things are difficult terrain. If you're fully in this soft cover, it gives you soft cover. And that is pretty much it. It's a pretty simple map. The uh, spine warpers will be coming out of these black caves to the north and uh, to the south. And the cave to the south looks like it's especially large. Oh no. Mm. Hey, uh, from what you can tell that the spine warpers, they all can fly. And uh, they look like they their claws are, are strong enough to crush metal. Choice. Oh dear. Objective established. We gotta cut off the caves. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you can shoot the caves. You can actually shoot the caves. That'd be cool. Um, I didn't plan for that. You can do it. I'm gonna oh, use that. Was uh, absolutely I'm absolutely my plan. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick yep. break and then you guys can strategize. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom then while you all strategize. But Did I'm gonna anybody... just go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna say I have an uh, RPG on my Mac and I am ready to use it. That is all. Nice. Uh, anybody here who might understand how Foundry works? I don't actually know how to heal my character. <laughs> Um, go uh, pop your character sheet open and then just set all the values back to whatever their max is. Like, okay. So I set my repairs back to five, etc. Um, oh, I'm not right. sure what we want to do here. I feel like we should just like move as a unit with the Groot Slang. Probably. Or with the, with the I mean, do we? Yeah. Just stick together is probably like the best real strategy we can do. I can fly up on top of like these pillars to get a good vantage point, but I don't actually know if that's going to give me any actual... It's not, I don't know if that's actually going to do anything for me. So what I'm concerned about is that they're just going to keep coming, so either we need to just get through the area and not care about killing them all, or we need to like cut them off at the source. I, th I also think that we're going to take less attacks if we focus fire, so I, I, think, I think we should appoint I think Rico, if you're gonna be like flying around and you do that stuff, you call targets on stuff, and then we use whatever capabilities we've got. And then Riho, you just stay at the front and make sure no matter what we get through, I'll bring up the rear and we just we just convoy Buso through this as fast as possible, and we just move at Buso's max speed. Oh hey, I heard my name. Oh, good. Sounds good. So we're gonna so we're not concerned about like winning. We just want to get through. Am I understanding correctly? <laughs> Yeah, we want to get through and we want to take out, we'll let Rico call out the most tactically advanced shit and like necessary targets to take out and we spend the minimum number of actions shooting and the maximum number of actions running. And we do that around Buso's speed. Hey guys, want to know a great fact about Big Buso? Mm. I'm fat crobatic, baby. I took two agility because I did not want to be the slowest thing on the field. Nice. So, yeah. This, what actually this, is your speed? My speed is five. Nice. I'm, I'm a speedy fat boy. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see how I can actually heal myself. <laughs> Simply. Oh, here we go. I found the page. I know what I'm doing. I promise. Uh, right. So. I don't know what everyone else has to handle the caves, but that bottom one, um, as soon as I get to like the center of the map, I think I'm gonna just hail Mary. Mary. Yeah, I'm gonna just hail Mary, fire it right into the mouth, and if it doesn't collapse the the cliffside, I'm gonna be fucking surprised because it's. Oh shit! That's right. I forgot. I have jackhammer rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. The problem is, is that will that potentially block our way? It is far away enough from the from the wall, unless it like, unless I collapse the whole side of the cliff and it like falls out. I don't know, four hexes. I should be okay. That's all I'm afraid of. But I've got an RPG, so I can I can hit that too. So we'll we'll be okay. But yeah, yeah. and I just realized. The RPG is cool, but I have jackhammer rounds, and it just straight up says you automatically deal 10 armor-piercing kinetic damage to uh, any, like, size 1 section of any object. Cover, terrain, etc. So, yeah, I can kill a cave. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, um... So what do you think? Does it make sense for me to like fly up on top of one of these pillars and get line of sight on everything? Or is that just going to get me shot from all directions <laughs> without giving me any extra benefit? So my view of this is that you can fly. So all of these terrain like obstacles that would be a problem for us, you could literally just spend one turn just yeeting yourself across the entire map and be like, GG, have fun. <laughs> But if you get to, to like the tip top of one of these pillars, your anti-material rifle will be a finger of God for like anything that's not a gnat. Because it sounds like that I have a sneaking suspicion that the gnats all have one HP each. 
So, yeah. I don't know, having that anti-material rifle to be like, oh look, a whelp is getting close to someone. No. Okay, that so yeah, I can, I, can, I can make that happen. Just make uh, a beeline for like maybe... Well, let me actually do the... I forgot how to do the targeting thing. Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, make a beeline for uh, the top of uh, one of these uh, pillars mm -hmm. and then just like set myself up as a sniper. Yeah, like that. Yep. Sounds good there. Yeah. And then we'll just convoy around Buso and we'll 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 get her done. I've got missile racks this time around instead of the knives. Mixing it up. Mixing it up, but also like looking for more knockdowns, because the more knockdowns I have, the more the the more body slams Riho gets. So my plan is sure. to knock people down prone and then you can run at them and then and then Elbow them. drop! You can hulk out people's elbow, anything you need to do. I gotta pull up the uh, magical girl attack name generator. <laughs> You're gonna use your attack name generator on these bugs? Oh, so the the evil alien bugs are like 50% of what you should use anime. You guys are the aliens. Effects. You're That's on this planet. Mm. I would just like to point out that Google knows that if I type the word magical girl, I'm really searching for magical girl attack name generator right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Google. Yes. Um... Yeah, uh, as you all pick up on uh, your uh, your sensors, I'm pretty sure Valaria shares uh, the information they pulled. Um, you see these uh, spine warpers start to get a little heightened in their senses as they start taking on uh, aggressive patterns. And you literally see the, the back, the top layer of these, uh, the, the top of these spine warpers, their spine literally pops out as almost like a cat, with, you know, the hair on the cat kind of stands up. Their spine pops oh. out the top of their, of their uh, back and it just like makes it like a, a clittering sound, like a clicking sound, as their spine is literally like touching it and clicking it. It echoes through this cavern, and then uh, they all do that, and as it just echoes through the whole cavern. Nature is beautiful. Um, with that, who is going first? Um, I think probably either Valare or. I was, didn't we say Riho was going to go in first? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Good gun. I don't know where to go though. Please help. <laughs> um, I think we need to take the path that's the biggest for Buso. So central. Yeah. I'm going to be heading down. this way. Down the... Okay, down the center. Let's see if this works. If I can do this. Okay. Uh, so right through the row of what? spine warpers. Oh no. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> Look how cute it is. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> I yeah, love him. That, Can yeah. we befriend him and make him a pet? Maybe. <laughs> Go ahead, Rika. Oh, I thought. Okay. Oh, I'm going first. Or am I not? I don't know. I thought Riho was going first. Sounds like she's. Going I mean, first. I mean, my job is just to like, just to like clear the clear the way, right? So like, I just yeah. gotta get on the center. Cool. Bingo. Oh, uh, fix you guys is uh, your all your stats. I think Riho, you need to turn your heat to zero. Mm -hmm. And Valari, let me remove your she's stats too hot. conditions. She's too so hot, hot and too hot to handle. Too so hot, hot in her. Oh, wait. There you go. Yeah, no longer. You don't want to be exposed for this fight. Nope, definitely not. Cool. Alrighty, Riho. The champ. Let's see what you got. I'm trying to remember how far I can move, right? <laughs> uh, your speed is four. You can just left click and drag and it'll automatically tell you how far you're moving. Really? Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Movement action to go there. I think I'm just running full on into this. <laughs> to start clearing the center. Yep. As she, as she Naruto runs if into I, battle. If I like triple move, is that is that right? You gotta. Yeah, yeah. So you have to boost. You have to. Uh, oh, use your other quick action. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. Just make sure you uh to index your your uh, your spots. Hold Control and left click so you can um. Because these little small rocks are uh, difficult terrain. Oh, 
I so I had it. no idea what you were saying with index. I was like, the fuck does that word mean? Mm -hmm. And now I get it. <laughs> there you go. Thick. Uh... So yeah, with the uh, as your movement and with the boost and with the overcharge, you can move up to eight spaces. Yeah. So yeah, you would have to overcharge to get there. So what you'll do is uh, you'll click on your character sheet and then go to stats and then press the uh, let's reset your overcharge button, and you can just press the overcharge D twenty on your on the overcharge stats category. D20. Did it work? Cool. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. What else you got now, Riho? The champ. I mean, can I do anything else? Oh, you're muted. Can I do anything else? Yeah. Yeah. So you uh, you moved. You boosted, you overcharged, boosted, you have one more quick action. Yeah. Mm. Could smash a bitch or shoot him with your hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let's see. We gotta keep him out of the way. Oh, these gnats are, uh, they're grunts, by the way. So that takes one day. Do it! One hit. Okay, so could I, like, ram into the one that's closest to me? Am I close enough for that? Uh, you need to be adjacent to ram. Shit. Then I'll shoot it. Cool. Uh, make sure you press T over target on the one you want to shoot, and they all have soft cover right now, so you're going to add one difficulty to your shot. Um, Which one is it? Auto cannon hair. Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. Launching a attack. Oh, did it roll? It just said it was did destroyed? It? What? Like that was uh, the message that came up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you gotta. Here we go. I got you. Let's fix it real quick. Yeah, I think it's because it was destroyed last combat and we didn't understand yeah. it. Yeah, oh, rip. All right, yeah. Now, now, uh, now give me a roll. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. Have the animation. All right. Do, do, All right. Do. Soft cover. You gotta set animations up for everybody. Wait, soft cover. I, I forgot something. Roll. I'll do it next time. It, it didn't like it. Put it. Um, yeah, that is a miss, but it's a reliable too, as this gnat, spine warper gnat, was kind of in this tree, and uh, you just mow down this tree and mow down the gnat with it, taking it out as it goes sploosh and splash with the uh, ectoplasm and stuff. Uh, let's see. How do that I was mark these a beautiful description. Instead? Good old reliable damage. <laughs> old reliable damage. What else you got, uh, Riho? Technically, you have initiative, and you can use that to do something else. I have initiative? What? If, yes, initiative is a once per scene um, Everest ability. So, um, oh, my extra, like. Go faster button. Mm -hmm. Couldn't I technically have done that instead of overheating? <laughs> yes, you can do that, yeah, if you want to. Can I just do that and take back my overheat? Yes, you can definitely do that. We can Sick. reset that and then yeah. bring your heat to zero. Yes, you did that using your Everest abilities. Cool. Swear. Nice. All right, that's it then. All righty. Uh, this spine warper gnat right here uh, to the north of you is going to move in, crawling from tree to tree with its spine still exposed and is going to attack you with its pincer claws. Hoping to take you down, defend its home. Let's see if I can find, uh, how are they? there we go. Defend That's gonna its home, now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these things have accuracy? Holy shit. <laughs> bad time. Yeah, uh, nice. That is six damage on you, Riho. As oh. this thing clamps on one of your mech arms and crushes it, and you can, you can get a read readout on your mech system that your arm is damaged. That is too much damage. Too much. How do I put that on my character sheet? Hmm? We can't hear you, Claire. I'm trying to figure out how to put that on my character sheet. I have forgotten everything about this one. I was on the wrong one. Yeah. Um, what you'll do is, I got you, just affect your HP. Your HP goes down to um, 14. Eight. Actually, um, let's see. I don't know if you're supposed to have 14 HP. I feel like, I think she is. I feel like the highest you can go is 12. No, maybe maybe that's right. Okay, we'll trust it. Do we have... Um, um, mm. I just knew I had Because one hole gives you, you start out with 8 HP, one hole gives you 
uh, two HP that puts you at 10, and then you have personalizations that give you 12. So I don't know why you have t uh, 14, but we'll, we'll trust mm. the computer. Now I'm questioning cool. that yep. math. <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, this thing kind of latches onto your arm, and as it latches onto your arm, it is going to My do something else. My personalization plus two HP. Yes. Yeah. Oh no! I first start out with ten HP. Never mind. You're good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, but it's the personalization um, that's what put me over. Yep. 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 Um, <laughs> and then oh, that's a full action. Uh, next, what is it going to do is. Let's see here. It's going to try and uh, mark you with some pheromones as uh, it sprays <laughs> its uh, pheromones. That is some magical it's girl shit. Yeah. It, like, Alien magical out, like, girl shit. Mist from its mouth <laughs> and sprays your mech with pheromones, and uh, you are now locked on. How very anime. Spine Warper <laughs> Bubble Blast. <laughs> um, and that is it for that Spine Warper. Y'all done. Well, unless someone else wants to do something, I'm going to yeet myself. Go for it. All right. My turn uh, is just going to be sprinting to that rock. So Send yeah. help. Um, yeah, I'm going to see the, the path that Riho ran down and just... Riho, I'm coming! And just stomp, stomp, stomp. Cool. Charging through in the Sargamatha. Okay, so that's one move. And uh, this is difficult terrain, so um, so it's I'll only be able to go to four. Uh, what's your what's your speed? Yep. Five. Uh, yep. So I'll get here. Um, I'm going to overcharge because I feel like that's the only thing I can do. And unlike everyone else, okay. I don't have initiative. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You have other good shit. <laughs> I have I have face tanking, but I'm saving that for the big scary place that we're trying to get to. Um, oh God, I'm not gonna be able to get past Rio, but that's fine. So it's the overcharge. Uh, are you you already did it? Yeah, too. overcharge. I guess I'll move right up here. Um, you know, you can just I did push it. Push me forward with you. It's fine. I. <laughs> I don't want to do that, but instead I want to say that I never established Buso's battle buddy this time. And That's true, yeah. now that I'm right behind Riho, I'm just like, I'm going to just be in the zone and just be like, Riho, we're battle buddies. We can make it through this. And just my big giant ass self stomping in behind you. So because of that, we, we can play off the bonded talent. And hopefully now if any other bullshit happens to you trying to protect me, you can get some accuracy to your saves. Riho's response was right. just to nod very seriously and say hi. Marvelous. <laughs> okay, while you're being while you're being anime as fuck, I will be umfakane as fuck and <laughs> bang my chain gun against the front of my shield. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, and that's it. That's my turn. That's your turn. Ooh. Um. <laughs> you sure? I think you have one more quick action left. <laughs> You know, you're right. You, you moved, you overcharged. Well, you moved, you boosted, and then I think you overcharged. Question. So you have one more quick action. Question. Mm -hmm. Can I see this cave? Um, <gasps> Those things are 30 feet tall. Yeah, I mean, I would say you could see Yeah, You can see that cave. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to introduce that cave to my jackhammer round. Oh, okay. Let me go fetch some tokens. I need these. Uh, let's see. Riho is so down for what's about to happen. So it's a jack him around on the entrance of this cave. Yep. All right. With the intent to, I'm assuming, shut it down. Yep. A bit of a landslide. All right, cool. It does a quick action to do a jackhammer, right? Yep. Alrighty. Oh wait, <clears throat> this is not the thing that I wanted to click, but it's still a part of. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I added Siege Specialist too in preparation for my eventual big brain plays. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I just fired the jackhammer around. Nice. Yeah, you fired the jackhammer around, causing uh, explosion to ring on top of this cave. 
and uh, causing some rocks to fall down, blocking it off. You have effectively stopped the arrival of any beast that will come out um, at the start of the next round. So they'll probably come out a little bit later. Whew. Fine by me. Um, then I guess I'll just ping that on everyone's radar and be like, I I think I closed up one of the tunnels, but I'm, I, I want to move quickly. I don't want to see how well it will hold. <laughs> Thanks. Now I'm um, done. Now you're done. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see if these things, if I gave these things, I did not. Okay, cool. Uh, so the other uh, Spine Warper Nat will move one. Let's see how many spaces it can move. It's going to scurry away and move one, two, three, four, five, six here. And then it's going to see if it can do a mean thing. That's not the direction I expected it to go. Yes. Oh. All righty. This, let's see, Polar is in, uh, oh, yeah, see if we can get Polar. I mean, uh, Heartbreak. It's going to open its wings as a burst of kind of, uh, of, um, of goo and, and almost like a jet is, is popping out from its abdomen. And it's going to teleport, uh, aka blast itself using its own juices right here Aww. next to Heartbreak okay. and to, and to Volare. And its spine is literally detached from its body at this point. It's just, just like kind of floating up a little bit like off of its body. You get the sense that this is a suicidal attack. It, it is using oh, no. plasmic death burst. The uh, <laughs> spine warper teleports to a space occupied by another character within line of sight, range of team, must succeed on agility save. So, um, Heartbreak, give me an agility save. All right, that I can do. Um... <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, let's go. Hey, yeah. nice, nice. With the nineteen, you take uh, one damage as this thing literally flies at you like a gnat hits your windshield. It just blows up and like splatters and dies. Uh, but you take one damage, so you're good. I'll flick on the windshield wipers. And I say, did anybody else see that? What the actual fuck was that? I saw a blur. What happened? I'm still pouring over the energy data, but I don't think you should let them run into your mech. Oh, actually, One you word, don't, you don't everybody. Take, Kamikaze. You take, any, oh, yeah, yeah. You, take, you take two damage. You take two damage. Oh, two but damage. The, uh, the gnat's dead. Yeah, the gnat's dead. Um, oh, next shit. up, who is next? Um, honestly, I think it's still better for you to go. All I'm going to be doing is sprinting. <laughs> so, and it might be better for me to see where everything's going to, you know, shake out at the end <laughs> before I do that. Whereas you might be able to kill something before it gets to go. But he wants to do less knifing. Hmm. Well, you can do it with a missile launch. <laughs> yeah, he has AOE yeah. missiles now. It might be worth it to see what what bunches up. Of course, by then we might all be dead. So whatever. <laughs> Maybe. We're gonna be what fine, got, battle buddy. Uh, he seems to be uh, occupied, so I am going to go then. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna use initiative and boost. Can I, with initiative and boost, can I make it here? Can you see where I'm? Not unless you're flying. Not unless you're flying. Yes, yes, I want to be flying. Okay, cool. So yeah, with initiative and boost and your, and your standard movement, you can move up to uh, 12 spaces, yeah. Cool. Nice. That is exactly what I would like to do. So zoom, Re zoom. Rico's mech, uh, like he like presses like a button inside the mech and it starts shimmering weirdly. And it's actually like difficult to look at. Uh, as he zooms away off into the sky and lands up on the rock. Just <laughs> and launches himself forward. Uh, that is a skirmisher one, I believe. But yeah. Uh, Looking down over the battlefield with the sun at his back. <laughs> Narratively, <laughs> it's just sort of difficult to look at because light refracts off of him wrong. Uh, so Baller. I think that's all I can like do, though. Sick magical. Bullshit. One more quick action. Oh, one more you quick action. Well, boost, in that case, use a boost and you use initiative, 
and you use your standard movement gotcha. to get one more quick action. Cool. Uh, in that case, I would like to use my, I guess, Nexus to target this boy over here. Cool. Do you have tactician? Uh, not yet. Okay. I plan to take yeah, that uh, later. It has soft cover on you, and make sure you press T over it. Yep. I'm working on it. Yeah. And I'm shooting with my Nexus. Here we go. Let's get some Nexus action oh, in here. Oh, and I also have. Hey. Uh, wait, I didn't do the difficulty. So from the soft cover. So here, let me just oh, throw, yeah, an extra, throw an extra D6 in there. Yeah. Don't roll more than a four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it still hits. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you send your your uh, miniaturized drones, your Nexus at this spine warper gnat and uh effectively just um making paste out of it as they they all shoot it and take it down sweet so it's like he holds out both of his arms and just a bunch of tiny drones fly out um at least he holds out one arm and i still have another attack because it's ox ox uh mount so i'm going to yes, use the do, other arm and point it over at this one cool. i'm gonna remember to put the difficulty on it this time uh oops. Yeah, that one's just lashed on Riho's arm, just like as she's like swinging away and it's got his claws on her. Yeah. Oh, that no. Was a miss. <laughs> that is a miss. Mm. All right, but he lands up on, as he, after he lands up on top of the rock, just starts shooting cloud of tiny drones out. And some of them. Nice. nice. But that's my turn. Cool. Uh, this Spine Warper Whelp, which is a uh, more aggressive and mature spine warper is going to extend its wings and fly over towards you because it is winged um it's gonna fly over here adjacent to you and it is going to do very mean things um first it's gonna hit you with some claws as it's uh pincer claws um just try to bite at your mech or snap your mech Let's see, let's see what we can do. Claws coming at you. I'm not even looking, it's attacking me from behind. <laughs> oh no! That is a hit. I manifest the crit damage. <laughs> You're really worth it. It locks up to one of your wings and kind of crushes it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, subtract some damage. Uh, how much damage does that do on a crit? Uh, it is Six. It... Okay, good. Oh, and they don't, they don't have crit effects. Oh, okay, cool. So. I'm just going to go into six. I also forgot to mention I uh, took two heat from flying last time. Yes, 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 yes. And Nexus Spine Warper will. Hmm. It's going to grapple you. Stop. Don't. So you can't fly anymore. You oh, are now no. grappled. Don't. By the Spine Warper. And as it lashes onto your wings and its next, its next attack kind of grapples your other wing. And it's just like locking his feet into the ground. Its spine's like clicking off the top of its back and it's just kind of holding you down. Uh, Y'all just here just going uh, coming from the cockpit as he was definitely not ready for this. Uh, Do we, all uh, right, heartbreak. I was uh, gonna say, can we see this from like the bottom of the cliff? <laughs> just uh, yeah, you the see, melee. yeah, yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Slight <laughs> modification to the plan, Riho. I will bring up your rear once you advance again. I'm gonna see if I can't get over to Valari. And uh, Heartbreak is going to skitter off on all of its legs um, <laughs> around the north end of this column. And I'm going to try and tech attack it so we can lock on, maybe do a little behavioral analysis. Nice. Yes. You screen. send its, uh, its information, uh, the schematics of this, uh, the bio biology of this spine warper to your teammates, and it is locked on. All right. So I, do I need to roll the tech attack for that or just lock uh, no, nope. lock on is just a automatically happens. All right, perfect. Yeah, so then, yeah, I move, uh, move, boost, quick action to lock on, and that's it for Heartbreak. All righty, Heartbreak, that's it for you. This other Spine Warper, Whelp, will go, coming out of a cave and extending its wings and flying here and then flying right here, all the way over to Boozo. And <sighs> it is going, actually, this is what it will do. I love the movie to... Tremors. <laughs> yeah, it's going to fly. It's going to fly right here. 
and it is going to use an ability as its claws uh, open much wider. Its spine, uh, this one actually has two spines. They both pop out, and its tail with the blade on the end starts kind of waving wildly, and it will rampage. Uh Uh-oh. The monstrosity moves spaces equal to its speed in a straight line. That is six movement Uh right here. And uh, ignoring engagement and reactions, freely passing through, blah, blah, blah. It passes through. See, on a jilly save. Both of you, the champ and um, Boozo, give me a jilly save. But we are bonded. Battle buddy. We get a, uh, yeah, we get an accuracy. So, swell. Remind me how I roll this save. Um, If you hit mech up at the top there, yeah, hit agility. You're good. Yeah, and then just give yourself an accuracy from being my battle buddy. You are A-OK, Booza. Nothing happens to you. And same thing for you, uh, Riho, as this thing kind of scuttles through the the openings in your legs. This thing's probably like 10 to 15 feet big, so it's not super small, but you're able to dodge it. That's like... Gotta go fast. Yeah, that's like probably up to her mech's chest or something. Yeah, it's 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 fucking. It takes up a space of like uh, uh about fifteen feet. It's not technically fifteen feet tall, but it's definitely fifteen feet long. Yeah, I know. I um, mean, characters take up five feet squares, dude. I'm only five <laughs> feet tall. What the hell? Exactly. Yeah. Um, Opinion events. Maybe. Right. Uh, anyway, that's cool. It's, we rock. That is end of round one. Uh, the start of round two. Another spine warper whelp pops up in the north end of the battlefield and two spine warper gnats pop up in the battlefield and the spine warper gnats are right here one to the east and one to the west it is a y'all's go hmm oh and booza you uh you you see rocks kind of falling i guess all of you see rocks kind of falling from the cave to the west that you you shot you're like almost like doosh doosh Dude, something's trying to burrow its way through. Oh. Oh, no. Um, well, I gotta I'm... get the fuck out the way. <laughs> yeah. So he I'll... can move. I'll send a picture to everybody. And uh, just, we've we've got company coming. I think it might be big. Volare is just like, Kurt's like, get the shit off of me. Trying to shake off this creature. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, who's going first? Valar, if you want to get it, you're 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 grabbed, and same with um, with Champ. That's true. Uh, unfortunately, everything I do sucks while I'm grappled. Uh, so Rico's just gonna say over really the comms, "Can somebody mean... please shoot this thing off of me?" Could. <sighs> it's not a demand. It's just like panic. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a demand. <laughs> <laughs> So, Riho, you want to go? I'm thinking about what Pat... So, he's going to come in through this way. Yeah. Boozo gonna... can technically move through you. The Spine Warper gnats are half size, so uh, Boozo can just walk right over them. Can I just step on them? Um, I'll make you do a, 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 a hole check. Or like a... a yeah, a hole check. Ooh, I'm okay with this. I'm going to just... Hey, do that. Do that. Yeah, I'll just start pushing your back and be like, "Okay, stuff's happening. Just go, 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 go." <laughs> cool. They'll probably do a contest. They'll probably be like a contested check. So you do hole and it'll do agility to kind of dodge. Yeah, but I'm huge. <laughs> They're small and fast. Yeah, but I'm huge. <laughs> True. <laughs> there. You, you have do? something on your character sheet you're trying to argue with. <laughs> I I don't have anything on my character sheet to argue. I'm just huge. <laughs> huge. So do you want to go? Yeah, I thought you were going. Then. Yeah, get him. You know what? I will. I will. It's gonna. I'm gonna go on a lovely little jog through the woods. Alrighty. Yeah. I'll move there, and then I think as far as I'll be able to get is up there. Yeah. Cool. As you stomp through, you can uh, give stomp me a hole check, which will. It will take your quick action, take a quick action to smash this uh, 
It's fine for Nat. Yep, fine by me. I, I gingerly right. push past Riho and then just immediately stomp, stomp, stomp. It is rolling an agility check. You got to beat a 13. No. Ooh, no. It Dang. dodges your feet and uh, kind of slithers around uh, to get a better attack angle on the champ. That's fine. I, I stomp through the woods and just be like, I think I got it. I can't see it from up here, but I think I got it. Champ just rolls her eyes. Okay. Um, what else do you got, Boozo? You got a overcharge to, excuse me, you moved, you boosted, and you did a quick action. Yeah. Um, I think that might be it because, honestly, I was the biggest worry, but I'm now at, like, I'm pretty much at the end of the, the troublesome path, so... Provide cover. I don't provide support. Shoot a cave. Can I? Do I still have? There's a cave right north of you. Yeah, but I thought I just took a quick action stomping on him, and I did it my boost. Uh, you, yeah, you need a you need overcharge to do anything else. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll shoot another cave. I'll shoot the I'll shoot the big cave with the spine warper whelp. Like right to the Alrighty. north of right, and I know if just you if you shoot that cave, it will turn off any reinforcements that will come because they're going to be smaller. What if instead of using a jackhammer round, though, I just used the full power of an RPG that deals yes. a very large that blast? Good. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yep. This is okay. what I always wanted. I see. I'm going to say the cave is automatically shut oh. down by your RPG, but uh, Dicks. yeah, give me attack. On no, the it's well. an ordnance weapon, so I can't. Ooh. Ooh. I, I played myself. Whatever. Uh, I, I fire the jackhammer around into the cave again. Nice. You fire a jackhammer around to the cave, but I would say it probably causes some uh, some uh, uh, avalanching of uh, of rocks and stuff. And uh, let's see. Roll me a d6, and let me see if this thing can dodge it. Boop. Ooh. Ah! Three, nope. Five damage if... Uh, yes! Five damage as Ross come crashing down on top of this uh, Spine Warper. It's going to take uh, actually four damage because it has a bit of armor. That's a thick carapace. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Kind of pops up and knocks some rocks off, and, and it's 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 looking at you. Any of your turn? Um, yep, that is the end of my turn. I'll just let everyone know I closed up another tunnel, but it's they're still coming. I'm nearly at the end, though. All righty. This spine warper will fly over yonder. Gross, gross, right gross, 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 gross. And then it <laughs> will attack you with its claws, hoping to uh, bite at your mech kneecaps. Oof. Oof. That is six damage on you. It's like a truck. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that took out half my health. <laughs> <laughs> and then the spine warper will also pop out its two spines. Its tail kind of moves in a helicopter motion, and its wings pop out, and it's going to rampage in uh, its speed. And it will move right here, hitting both you and Volare. Both of you all give me a agility save. Uh, wow. Okay. Eighteen's good. Oh no! Ooh, that is, is less four good. damage on you, Valare, as it comes careening past your mech, and the gnats would just explode on contact. But these things, they are much more hardy. All right. So how much damage was it again? Four. Okay. I imagine I like leaped over it, saw it kept started climbing up the cliff, and just. Rico, Rico, Rico! <laughs> oh no! I was too busy being distracted by the, the thing that's yeah, stuck on my back. He's just like, shit, 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 and then. I don't like the little slide and talk <laughs> thing of it. I love it. It reminds me of one of my favorite old animes. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I love that visual novel where I try to date a horrible subterranean creature. <laughs> this creature meows. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, Y'all's turn. <laughs> That's hateful boyfriend, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, unless anybody else wants to go, I can take a shot at trying to shoot one of the whelps off of uh, off of Valari. That's what I was gonna suggest because I've got 
one on me, and I can also... I've got a good view on a couple. Okay, then... If you want to go first, I can clean up. Yeah, Heartbreak will go first. He'll grab... Uh, pull up the assault rifle and start spinning up rounds, and I will pop that... Um, I will pop that lock on to get some additional accuracy. Uh, consume lock nice. on. Um, uh, assault rifle popped out of your claws. <laughs> Bingo. Consume that. Crab gun. No! Ugh, but still two. Uh, that is a miss with reliable two, but it has one armor as one of these shots plink off of its armor. Um, can I shoot the? Can I shoot it with the assault rifle again? Uh, you would have to overcharge or use initiative. Um, yeah, I'll use initiative. Um, the scene, and I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and pop it again. I need to. Cool. Um, but it doesn't consume lock on because that's already gone. Oh yeah, let me uh, let me get rid of that real quick. Yeah. Alright, let's see. I believe in you. Oh. Nope. Uh, that is a miss for another one damage on this whelp as it is firmly grappling your ally. And then I will move. Um, then one, two, three, and then four right in here with Riho to round up the rear. Oh, damn. Alrighty. Then go. Um, yeah, I think that. Oh, I've got another move. Or another quick action. Can I, um, can I, uh, yep, you do. Can I try and lock on to the warper in front of him? Yep. Okay. Let's give it a shot. All right. On that whelp. I'm going to keep locking in, trying to get. Ooh. What's that for? Yeah, you don't Uh, have to roll for Oh, right. Oh, yeah, you don't don't have to roll for it. You don't have to roll for lock on. You just wasted that good luck. (laughs) Exactly. You the rolls finally back. started coming in. But yeah, no, I'm just going to keep targeting all of them as I run through, just flagging and tagging, flagging and tagging as Heartbreak gun overhead runs through the brush right, almost right into into the champ. Nice. Uh, the one, the uh, gnat that's locked on, that's uh, got its clampers on to the champ, is going to use its other clamper and extend it as it <laughs> kind of extends another like 10 feet and <laughs> clamp on to you, Heartbreak. Oh, no. So let's see what we got with this whelp. What can we do? Or this gnat, rather. That is a hit for six damage. And then it will shoot out a burst of ectoplasm and try and launch itself at the champ. The champ give me a, I believe, a... Agility save. Agility save, yeah. I believe in her ninja reflexes. Do you believe in my ninja reflexes? I don't. All right. I do. Oh, no. 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 Champ, you take uh, four damage, and you are now jammed as the uh, ectoplasm from this uh, uh, gnat covers your mechs and jams your guns and surprisingly jams your comms as well. You don't know what the fuck these things are made up of, but uh, it really seeps into every part of your mech. Disgusting. Um, so uh, jam status, uh, Clara, is you can't use any of your weapons. I, I was going to say, like, could I brace in this situation or not? Nah? Um, this is not an attack. Oh, it's not an It is a, uh, yeah, it's a save. Mm-hmm. Great. All right. So I'm jammed, so I can't use any of my weapons. Yeah, did you take your damage? So this would, um, you could have braced the, f- oh no, the first one was uh, on a heartbreak, yeah. So this is uh, four damage, yeah. Yep, I took the damage. Wait, no wait. Yeah, the, uh, the gnat explodes right on your mech and it's down. Sick. All right. Small bonuses. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess you I go it. next, if y'all don't mind. I should oh, say, yeah. does anybody mind if I go next? Go All right. Cool. So, uh, in order to keep myself alive, uh, just sort of like in a panic, surrounded on two sides by these massive bug creatures, uh, Valare is going to the 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 what's it called? The anti-materiel rifle is going to flip down into position, and yep. it will give me difficulty because I'm engaged, but I can also consume the lock on to sort of you can't mitigate. can't use ordnance weapons on characters that you're engaged with. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. Oh. 
And this was gonna be so cool. <laughs> it was gonna be so cool. Um, hmm. You can shoot this one though. You can shoot this one. Down to the south. Can I see him? Is that yeah, line yeah. of sight? Okay. Uh, um, you can draw a line of sight from an adjacent hex. So yeah, I mean, I think you have line of sight. Okay then. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say you have line of sight. It probably would have soft cover though. Hmm. Because cover is determined from center to center, but uh, line of sight is determined from adjacent hexes. All right. Um. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think I would like to first overcharge. Alrighty, press the overcharge button. Yeah, give me a second. I don't actually know how to do that. Um, I don't. I this I had this problem last time. I can't. I still don't know where the overcharge button is. <laughs> it's on the next it's, stats page, and it's underneath burn, right above your protocol and actions and stuff. Oh, There's I a little die. My whole character sheet. I thought I was. Yeah, it's on the mech character now. sheet. Go, 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 go. I was looking for it like in my like on the top of the screen drop down yeah yeah okay okay so overcharge i did it overcharging did it work um not yet damn it um let's see i'll probably just press it for you let's press the overcharge button my screen, my on my character sheet, it changed. It's now a one d three. Shouldn't the first instance of it just be one? This is your second overcharge, right? Oh wait, wait, wait. you decide to use your initiative instead. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Yes, you should be at three. You should be at. Um, hold on. You took two heat from flying, mm -hmm. and then you took uh, three heat just now. Okay. So you're at yeah, you're at five. Gotcha. Okay then, cool. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, not, not five, not five. You're at, um, you're at three. Running hot. Okay, cool. um, well, I will do that thing where I shoot him. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. Give me a shot, it has soft cover. Cool. Target. But you're using your anti-mat, so anti mat comes with uh, one accuracy built in. Cool, so it's just a straight roll. Oh, back. and you're engaged. It's engaged, so you take a difficulty. Okay. Well, it's getting less appealing as I do it, but I'm doing it anyway. This is what I'm at. This is what I'm doing. Um, go for go. it. Go. Damn it. Ooh, big right. miss. Well, uh, is it? Are those things, is that thing reliable? I don't think it is. It, I don't think so. No, Anton Man is not reliable and it's unloaded now. All right, that's fine. Uh, what I need to do to stay alive, I think I'm gonna actually just stabilize to get all my health back, because I have two HP. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Stabilizing, uh, using one repair to repair your HP. Mm -hmm. Go to max health and you're good. Cool, and it does one other thing as well, right? I can't remember. Yeah, you can remove conditions, but grapple, you can't remove that. Okay. Can I also get rid of heat with this or no? Nope, it's either HP or heat. Okay, mm -hmm. then. All right, in that case, I believe that's all I can do. Sorry for the bad thing. <laughs> no worries. It feels like you're good. <laughs> um, the Spine Warper Whelp behind the champ is going to activate. <coughs> and it is going to do some nifty ninja shit and just bounce over here, because it's got extra movement, bounce over here and flying in the air and coming down on the dive bottom on the, on the champ with its claws. Jesus. Fuck Alrighty, me. Spine Warper <laughs> Whelp on Riho. Flow like and, water. Uh, exactly. Uh, it's consuming the lock on. No! That is six demoge on El Riho. Damn it. That is structure. You can oh. brace if you want to, but I don't know if you would want to brace. Hmm. Yeah, bracing does make it so you have less actions. But... I mean, you're not going to do anything on your turn anyways because you're jammed. I mean, yeah. I mean, you yeah. could. Well, I was going to go grab Brace. one of them and throw it. <laughs> that was <laughs> my plan. Yep. <laughs> but... Uh, I really. Mm, I think you can mm. still grab it and throw it if you if you brace. That th that sounds like a quick action thing, maybe. I don't know. You yeah, you only get one quick action. Yeah, you could you could technically grab it. Yeah, grapple it. Hmm. So if you brace now, you can still do that thing you said. But like I said, it's up to okay. You. I I I want to brace. 
You're gonna brace. Alrighty. He is. Just gonna animate tank using, it. Using your subdermal plating, you take or... one damage. Oh, no damage. You're a okay. Um, this uh, warper whelp will walk onto you. Nice. And it is y'all's turn. I think only the champ is left. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's the one that's like on me, right? Yep. And then there's the one on the other side of heart. Can I? Okay. So I basically I want to. Wait, this one's attached to me. I guess I want to try and take him off and like grapple him, like kind of flip it back over on top of him. Mm. Um, um, yeah, you can grapple the one to yourself. It's not technically grappling you, but you can grapple the one to itself if you want. Sick, because I want to just, I want to just like throw it away from all of us, like into a wall or something like that. <laughs> um, you could technically grappling and ramming doesn't do any damage, but um, if you had another quick action, I'd let you cause some damage but you only have one quick action because you braced yeah hmm that's fine i'll just i'll just grapple it for now that's fine cool give me an attack okay. <coughs> what you're grappling can do give me your wrestler moves what'd you say give me your wrestler moves my wrestler moves all right yeah Oh, nice. that okay. is a hit. Nice. The so... Rope is now grappled by your mech. Nice. I got mad and I went and swatted at it. And then instead of letting go, I just nice. grabbed um, on. That is, that is literally all you can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're no longer jammed. <coughs> and uh, people will suffer difficulty to attack. You. <coughs> um, the last spinal for whelp, the one behind Valare, is going to head off and take down Buzo. It's gonna fly. You can react to me, um, Valar, if you want That's to. That's what I was about to ask. Um, what can I, what do I have? Can I shoot any of my <laughs> weapons at him? Or is, is there yes. only <laughs> All your, every single weapon has a threat one. Okay. Your anti-material <laughs> rifle is unloaded, so you can't. I think I'm gonna just shoot the thermal rifle at him. <laughs> cool. As Beautiful he jumps off on my back, I'm like, mother, and you're gonna shoot the laser at him. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna release the grapple as a free action. So yeah, you're not grapple anymore. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I am targeting it and I'm about to fire my anti-material rifle. You can't not use that. Oh, I can't. Sorry. Nope. No, it's uh, it's uh, unloaded. Oh, sorry. I meant thermal rifle. Definitely meant thermal. Rifle. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thermal rifle. Give me a thermal rifle attack. Cool. Cook him. Blast it into oblivion. <laughs> and. Does it have a uh, difficulty because it was engaged with me when it went or no? Yes, 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 yes. One difficulty. difficulty. <coughs> Shoot. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Big miss with the thermal right wow. Um It's going to lock on to Buzo and it is going to try and pince, pince, piercer, I don't know, claw attack Buzo. <laughs> Gross. Girls. <clears throat> uh, consuming lock on. I. Nice. Oh, big miss. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I, you... Sorry to interrupt what's going on. I just remembered I stabilized. Can I load my weapons as well when I did that? Oh, yeah, you could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cool. Totally so my yeah. material rifle is ready then. Cool. I wasn't going to use it then cool, anyway, cool. but yeah. Cool. Bye right, bye, let's, me. Uh, let's blow that thing. Thank you for reminding me. I'll just uh, answer my. The rifle is now loaded. I'll just answer my pants, dodge this thing as it comes after me. <laughs> Apparently, nice. Buso doesn't like bugs. I don't blame him. I know. <laughs> um, oh, wait, there's one more of these uh, stinkers um, to the northwest. Uh, it is going to move in six spaces. Yeah. And then it's going to move, let's see, right here. And do one of those ectoplasmic bursts and target uh, heartbreak. Oh, heartbreak, gosh. give me a agility uh, save, and this uh, thing is going to die in the process. Hey, you're all good. Nothing happens as this gnat just splatters on your mech. 
I'm running out of windshield wiper fluid. We gotta hurry. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, I guess that one's there too. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that one. I forgot about that one. Uh, this one's gonna do the same thing. It's going to uh, give me another Julie save, and it's also oh gonna die. Oh my god. Uh, same. Another Jilly save. Heartbreak. Oh, got it. There we go. Uh. Yay! Yay. The crab can't stop the crab. <laughs> Taking down these bugs one by one um, as they kind of come at you. Um, cool. That is the end of round two. Start of round three. Uh, big old Chungus pops in the battle. Oh, no. The spine warper hero pops up and bursts oh. through the rocks as they go shattering across the, the battlefield. Um, and uh, with that, another Spine Warper Whelp pops up out of the cave to the northwest. Oh boy. And uh, it is y'all's go. I'm gonna send a video of that to everybody and say, lobster on the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, there's already enough, uh, let me see. Actually, another one doesn't pop up. There's already three out on the battlefield. It crawls back in. <laughs> <laughs> It saw the hero and was like, I'm not needed. <laughs> yeah. mm, not doing that. It's y'all's turn. I mean, I know what I want to do. I don't know, like, that strategically, I don't know who should go first, but I, if nobody else knows what they want to do, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I, uh, hmm. Shouldn't we be just, like, trying to escape? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like I should probably go first and just like try to kill this thing so we can leave. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Is that agreeable to people? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Get it. Cool. Yeah. Next. Unless you need me to you stabilize you. <clears throat> Delete these things. I mean my uh, health ain't doing too hot. Oof. Can you heal other people with stabilize? No, no. Oh. I can only you can only clear their conditions. Mm. I mean, she could just start booking it up towards me and stabilize herself. That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, if you do that and at least get like next to me, then you'll have bonuses to like your saves and everything. And then I was gonna stay still for a little bit and at least just do some covering fire and maybe kill the whelp next to oh, me. Oh, yo, absolutely, get next to him. I have. I'm gonna do some stuff to help you. Okay. If you're cool. together. If everyone's grouped up. Sweet. So I am going to, I guess, body slam this bitch that I have <laughs> pinned. Cool. Um, you can do two things. So typically, technically that's an improvised attack. So it's going to cost you your full action or um, so I did it for Buzo. You can do a, a quick action to do like a whole check, but it's going to be contested. So I roll two. Wait. Say that again. So uh, either you have a, a a better chance of doing damage or a less better chance of doing damage, but the less better chance gives you more actions. I mean, I really would like to do some damage. I just want to hurt uh, okay, it in the easiest way can, possible. <laughs> so what you'll do is you use both your quick actions to improvise attack it. So give me an attack roll. Just one. Yeah, I think. Do you have the grappler talent where you get accuracy because you grapple against a grapple target? I think she might. <clears throat> this is a uh, brawler one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you can improvise attack. So just press the basic attack and then add one accuracy. Okay, cool. So hold and lock is a good Wait. term. Am I, tar I am targeting the right one. Thing. Okay. And... Apropos. Is it? How do I just do like the normal attack? Yeah, just 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 press T over it, and then it'll press like it'll pop up as basic attack, and that's all you need to do. It's just like not popping up because it's dumb. What cursed, and then accuracy and roll. Bam. No. What you got. Dang. I am Ooh, cursed. Big miss as this thing cursed? extends its wings and braces the fall. You did. You were the one grappling it, so you can choose a release to grapple as a free action and run away. But you will get reacted to, so it's gonna hit you. Uh, Jesus. Mm. Mm. 
I don't know what makes like tactical sense in this situation. I feel like I need to leave, but I don't want to just like abandon the enemy and like. Ah. You can, uh, I mean, just hit it with your weapons, <laughs> overcharge and hit it with your weapons. I think we need to get moving. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna bail. I'm gonna stop grappling. Alrighty. <laughs> Decent chance you take damage. Get that one. Hey. It go. will <laughs> attack you with its claws. Sick. And it will consume the lock on. Nice. Oof. Yeah. It's a hit for six damage. Mm. And you technically can brace this too if you want. We only get a quick action on your next turn. We need to leave. I don't think I should do that. I think I just need to take the hit. Alrighty, taking the hit. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, the stuff doesn't work. So let me see. Does this prompt you to roll? Hey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, press the destroy button. As something is destroyed on your mech. What? This. Uh, you get to pick. Dealer's choice. You, you, put, you, you have to press the destroy button first. Mm -hmm. uh, a weapon mount is destroyed as this spine warper is going to rip off something. <laughs> what? Yes. A whole what weapon mount. Whole mount. <sighs> I, I guess. All right. My auxiliary melee shit. Goodbye. All righty. How do I? Right. Auto destroyed. I got gotcha. you. Sweet, cool. So it rips off your left hook, right hook, auxiliary melee, your boxing glove, or your wrestling glove. My maybe. boxing gloves. <laughs> the ones off. I can throw at people. <laughs> yeah, they're ripped off. This thing just starts munching on them. Uh, but yeah, you can run away. <laughs> can so I get to four spaces? Yeah. You can move four spaces. Four spaces. Well. Isn't this difficult terrain? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's not? Okay, cool. There. I'm going. Uh, that's that's five, so yeah. Oh, did I just... Be right there, yeah. There. Sick. Alrighty. Clara, you can also overcharge if you want to. So, if I overcharge... I can hear you. If I overcharge, would I be able to, like do it to stabilize is that a thing i could do no you cannot you need a full action to stabilize full action to stabilize okay um i'm good i'm gonna I'm pass Alrighty. leaving your allies to fend for themselves as the spine warper whelp by buzo is going to lock on to buzo and is going to attack buzo again with their claws gross no. All right, Spinal Whelp coming in, hoping to rip off some armaments. Uh, let's see, on Buzo, consume lock on. Let's see what we got. Yes, Buzo, that's six damage on you. Oh no. Um, I'm gonna brace. I'm gonna. Uh, alrighty. I'm gonna do my fancy brace and take only the one damage. Subdermal. <laughs> causing maybe this uh, Warper's uh, claws to kind of shatter a little bit. Uh, one damage, and you're good. You're right. Uh, Y'all's turn. Uh, do you mind if I go, Akizwa? I have a plan, and I think I really need to go to protect uh, some of us from... Let's do it. Let's cool. do it. Um, so I have a Skirmisher, so I am just going to take the uh, reaction attack from this guy and fly uh, cool. skirmisher uh, ignores that I he's gonna give me sure. it gives me soft cover during my turn oh okay 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 yeah then so I, yeah, i'm gonna yeah. fly over here to the other pillar right. the other rock Let me claw thingy attack you with this uh spine warper that is a hit for six damage wait i think you gave him accuracy instead of difficulty oh uh why do they have difficulty because I have soft, oh, no, soft cover. Soft cover doesn't apply to melee. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay then. That's wild. I did not know that. Yep. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna take six damage. That's fine with me. Alrighty. 
All right. And then I am going to fire off a smoke grenade. Okie dokie. To... These are all melee attacks. Remember, soft cover only. Oh, so that so this well, it might protect us from something the hero can do. I don't know. Yeah, that's that a is good true. point. That is true. I don't know if it has like some kind of crazy ranged attacker that it can do. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so you want to fire off a uh, smoke grenade? Yeah. Where and do you want to put it? I want to put it. Hold on. Here. Let's see if I can change the color. So, so wherever I can get both um, the champ and Busa. Alrighty. So yeah, I think that's gonna have to be the spot. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. That's my first quick action, and then a second quick action. I am going to, um, let's see. Uh, anything crazy fun I can do? Not that I know of. So, I think I'm just going to try. No, that's not going to work. These things are biological creatures. I can't tech attack this thing. Um, no. <laughs> um, Heck your mind, bro. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is bolster heartbreak. You have a, you, still have, you can fire at the warper welt on the other. That's true. Over Maybe I'll be yeah. better off. It has lock on too. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know what? Just in the off chance that I get a crit, I'm going to use two my two nexuses and fire the first one at the Spine Warper Hero in case maybe I can do, inflict some status effects on him. Oh, okay, cool. Hail Mary, Sentamain. It's gonna require a crit to do it, but might as well try. So, yeah. Right. And it uh, doesn't have any accuracy or difficulty as far as I know. So just a straight roll. Give me a crit. Got him. Uh, sure. That is a hit for two damage. Is this kinetic? Uh, yes, it's kinetic damage. The Spine Warper Hero has Tempered Hide, resistance to kinetic damage. So, armor brings it down to one damage. It's only be one damage. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to use the other Nexus to shoot at this one here. Yes. Uh, the one with the lock-on? Cool. It does have lock-on. I think maybe I, anybody, does anybody else need that lock-on? Should I consume no. it to try to get the crit? Try and oh, get it. want to leave. Yeah, go. <laughs> All right, I'm consuming the lock on. That gives me plus one accuracy or any more. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll automatically do it. It'll automatically okay, cool, do cool, it cool. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That is a hit for no damage as it has one armor. Nexus are blocked by its armor. Damn. Dang it. Wow. Okay. They're not high damage. I was just hoping for the crit to do some status effects. Okay, that's my turn. Alrighty, that is into your turn. You take two heat for flying. Yep. The spine warper whelp next to heartbreak on the ground is going to move forward. First, it's going to lock on to heartbreak, and it's going to move forward with a claw attack. Do your worst. I see the claws on your mech and maybe it's a little intimidated, but it's going to persevere through. It was taught better. That is a hit for six damage. Well, I'm going to brace that. Ooh, okay. Taking it down to three damage. Oof. And uh, that is the end of its turn, y'all's turn. Uh, who's left? Oh, yeah, Heartbreak. Just the keys fine. Um, you just have one I... quick action. I don't think I went yet. Oh, okay. Oh, true. No, you haven't. Yeah. So, um, unless never... anybody can help me get these guys off of me. I, I did the only thing I can do to help. <laughs> uh, Boozo, you did brace though, right? Yeah, so I don't have that many actions. Um. Do, do, do. If I if I take my move action to get into the sot, well, no, that won't do anything because we're on because it's melee. Um, yep. I think on my turn, since I can't take a full action to stabilize, I'm just gonna have to ram them. So it's just a basic attack. The one to the south, the one to the north is thirty feet up. Yeah, the so one I, to the south, you can. The one to the south, I'm just gonna have to do it. So it's just a basic attack. Yep. 
Okay, let's see if I can ram it. Yeah, ram arena. Nope, nothing. That is a miss as it dodges out of the way. And I'm stuck, basically. Yeah. You. You. All right, that's it. All right, Spine Warper Welp. Uh, that was next to Valer. Valare is going to fly across, lock onto Valare, and attack them. Ah. I'll just yes, dodge it. They have wings as well. They have wings as well. I'll just dodge it. It's going to be fun. You have skills. You're a pilot. You know how to do things. That's the plus one agility, baby. Nah. <laughs> oh. Do a barrel roll. Six damage as it clamps down on your mech. All right. This time, I got to take the structure. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I could brace it, but I need the, I'm need. i going to need the actions. So I'm just going to take the structure, get down to... Cool. Uh, bring it down to zero, and I'll prompt you. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I was already resetting it to the next for the next. <laughs> okay, so zero. Three. Yeah. Wait, wait. You should be. At, did you take structure already? You did not, right? No. I stabilized okay. it earlier. Cool. Why am I at two? Why is it? Why am I rolling two d six? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe just, we both did it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Just just press the button, and then we'll take the first d six. It's all right. I clicked the button, and nothing happened. Oh, okay, this roll me a d6 then. Cool, d6. Roll. Let's see what you get. That is system trauma. Roll me another d6 as something is torn off. All right, that's fine. Damaged. Oof. That is a system. What is torn off? Um, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. I mean, this, the smoke grenade launcher gets knocked off. Oh, where's your smoke grenades? I have bend the knee, I have personalization, I have type 1 flight system. I don't think you have room for smoke grenades, actually. Because you removed them, right? Oh, it's my bad. Yeah, I think I got rid of... I, I removed bend the knee to put the smoke grenades back on. My bad. I forgot. I don't think I ever oh, okay, told you cool, that. Cool. <laughs> I think I did it, like, at the oh, end of okay, last okay. session. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me, um... Can you go to the compendium and then go to mech systems and then add your smoke grenades back on and then destroy them? Uh, <laughs> let's add it on. So that sounds so mean. <laughs> can you put those back on so we can just kill them? Uh, okay, compendium. Give me a minute. I barely know how I found I'm going to go ahead. I'm, better. I'm just going to remove your uh, bend the knee for you. Okay, boom. Yeah, it's on their mech systems, and you'll just drag it over from the compendium to... Um, you can keyword search it, too. Yeah. And don't do what I did and try to drag the whole license on because mm -hmm. that crashes Chrome. I found that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. That was that's turn. Yeah. So it's uh, y'all's turn. Oh, boy. Who's that? I think it's just Who's me. That? Um, I see the big, scary spine warper thing crawl out of the caves. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to just look at it and say i'm gonna ignore that and just activate my shield protocol on it so that it won't catch me off guard Alrighty, you take one heat and you activate projected shield on it Boop. okay so with bracing i only get a movement and a quick action i think only a quick action only a quick action that's it okay no movement Alrighty, and i can't overcharge um I feel like it is not a terrible idea for me to just sit where I am and wait while heartbreak catches up. I don't know. Should I move? You can move, move like partial movement, maybe like just back up a couple feet. Keep your line of sight. I think I could move to here, but I'll take an attack. Yeah, if I boost north past the Spine Warper Whelp, I think I'll... Yes, but there is difficult terrain right above you, though. Yeah, I I tried to account for it, so... Okay, cool, cool. You're good. I think that's as far as I can go, but I'll take a I'll... take a hit off that reaction. guy. Yeah. Alrighty, Spine Warper Whelp will hit you with a reaction with its claws. Well, that happened. Oof. And that's a hit. Six damage. Bum, 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 bum. Got structured. Oh, gross. Oh, hey. You're fine. Impaired. 
nothing gets blown off. Okay, I I Jelly. start shout. Yeah, I start shouting something about. Come on, guys, we gotta go. And then suddenly your <laughs> comms are just full of. Ah, get it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. Who hasn't gone yet out of the NPCs? The one next to you, Boozo. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then the the big one, the hero, hasn't gone either. Big Chungus. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, one next to you is gonna lock on and um, get on you. It's gonna lock on to you and then hit you with its claws. These things are voracious. We're figuring them out. <laughs> Well, that is a 19, that is 6 wow. damage. Actually, 5 damage, because you have armor. Mm. For the purposes of completing the mission, how many of us have to get to that extraction zone? <coughs> yeah, or a majority, <laughs> majority of y'all. Okay. We should go. You can do a tactical retreat uh, if you get if uh, majority of you get there. I'll just have, your, have you roll some narrative checks. Um, I think, have all y'all gone? Yep, I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. okay. Alrighty, Spine Warper Hero is going to activate, flipping out its wings, massive wings. This thing's a 30 foot wide, 30 foot tall, nasty little fucker. And uh, it is going to, yeah, cool. Who is closest? It's gonna go for the champ. Moving six Naturally. spaces, <laughs> and uh, let's see, where can it fit? It's actually too big to fit. Haha, -ha, outplayed. <laughs> it can't. It can't. Actually, it can't fit anywhere but here. So it's gonna move and boost, flying to this um, this area here, and it's going to attack Volare. Of course. Oh, with no. the claws. It's massive claws that are much more deadly than the other claws. Of course. These things break rocks. That is a hit for six damage, and because of adhesive secretions, which then coat your mech, you must succeed on an engineering save or become slowed until the until you stabilize. Ah. Good. Great. Love it. Absolutely. So, yeah. ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Give me Ryan. engineering save. The champ dramatically. Rico, no! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, if you're slow, you can't fly. Is that enough? You're all good. It's perfect. You're all good. <laughs> Nothing happens. All right. Uh, it is the end of round three, start of round four. Y'all's turn. I'm starting to think I'm just going to do some disengage stuff and just go. <laughs> Yeah, how do we how do we disengage? Is there is it just a full action? It's a full it's action. A full action, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, Heartbreak, you you uh, braced last turn, didn't you? Yeah. No, no, I didn't brace. Yeah. I didn't brace last. I braced before my turn, and then I only had one quick action. Uh, okay, got you. Cool. Yeah. So you're no longer. If I can go first, I could disengage and get the hell away from here and catch up to Buso. That's a good. Yeah, plan. it's a full action to disengage. Do it. Do it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Uh, yeah, so Heartbreak is going to disengage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, move right up to there, and then I will overcharge so that I can, um, well, I guess I'll move back here then, and I'll overcharge so that I can, um, uh, assault rifle attack the one that's, uh, harrying Busto. Cool. All right. All right. So let me hit my overcharge button real quick overcharge All right i don't know if it should do that it should just be yeah. one heat uh i think you overcharged already okay right? then, yeah so that's that's yeah. two so it goes up um so that gets hit and then i will do, do, do assault rifle let's see if that will let's see if this will target it there we go what are this thing with bullets Still reliable. One Ooh. damage. One damage on this whelp. Death by a thousand cuts. I know. We're plinking <laughs> them and we're plinking them and we're plinking them. Yep. 
Oh, but that's it for yeah, my sexual heartbreak. These things. <laughs> no, you have to. I haven't hit a single thing. Boundary hates us They're today. mostly killing themselves. Yep. Um, <laughs> Spinal for Welp next <laughs> to Vamp is going to scuttle over here. Is going to ram the champ. Sick. Uh, does a nine hit you, champ? And your evasion's a nine. Yes. You are not knocked back, and you're not prone. I will choose not to knock you back. And then it's going to hit you with its claws. It's going to try and cut your arms off with its claws. That is a 12. That is six damage. I hate this. I hate this so much. I know. <laughs> no, this is cruel. All right. <laughs> I'm at five. I wish there was anything I could do to help other people move. I could oh, yeah. probably get, I, I could probably get out of here. Struggling here. here. Go I, yeah. I want to like help other people get out of here as well, and I don't think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It might be a little too late to activate your core powers too. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's not worth it for me. We're on the struggle bus, yeah. guys. Time to just run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying. It's uh. It is uh. Y'all's turn. Uh, okay, so if I got knocked prone, doesn't that mean that it's gonna take me like a full action just to stand up? A full your all your movement to stand up. You can all of boost. my oh my movement to stand up. Okay, so I want a GTFO. So can I still like use my movement to stand up, disengage, and then like can I overcharge boost? Well, can I boost as a no, uh, disengage is a I full have, action. I so have initiative. You... Uh, you already use that. Oh, I already... This round? Yeah, you use it. You, you get one per scene. Oh, one per scene. That's so, right. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Overcharge boost. Yes. Alrighty. So if you want to stand up, you stand up. And then you disengage with a full action. Where do you want to go? Uh, towards my battle buddy. <laughs> Uh, that is Friend. not a valid space. This is a valid space. This is difficult terrain. You need two movement to get there. So as far as you can go is right here or right. Actually, you would have to be right here. Oh, no, disengage. You can go right here. You can go right here. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. Watch them. Yeah. Boom. Get them. Yeah. And then uh, to make that boost action, you have to overcharge. So press the overcharge button. Man, Vince gave me a nice little, Vince gave me a nice little overcharge icon, but it like doesn't work, and I keep trying to click it, and it's wrong. <laughs> Damn, I gotta fix this shit. Hey. Uh, yeah, you're good. You're you're Sick. okay. <laughs> um, ah! cool. I think that is uh, it for you, champ. That's all your actions. All I'm alive. Let's. That's all I can ask for. Some, some maximum painage as. This spine whipper whelp will move away and getting reacted to. Cool. Um, uh, can I use the thermal rifle on it? Yes, you can. Cool. Yes, yeah, so it'll be at one please. difficulty. Please. <laughs> please. I'm please. begging you. <laughs> thermal rifle, one difficulty. Shoot. Damn it. Nope. Ooh. I have rolled three ones in this combat. No one's hit anything. That's an yeah, amazing no. roll of negative four. <laughs> you killed um, his uh, alternate mirror universe counterpart. <laughs> this is a ram on heartbreak. Can, can we take a break to light some incense to the machine gods? <laughs> <laughs> Please. That's knocking you down, heartbreak, knocking you prone. And this whelp will then hit you with some claws. I'm probably going to have to brace this, too. Coming in at a uh, grand total of two accuracy. Yeah, I second Clara with uh, we should burn You're some incense. You're kidding me. <laughs> I legit have incense upstairs. I, um, I, I, I got a... I got a... I'll brace it, but I still take structure anyway because I go down to zero. So. Oh, don't, 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 don't brace it. Don't brace it then. Don't brace it. Cause then, then you just you just get doubly fucked. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. So you you'll take the structure and yeah, it's 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 bad to take structure and have limited actions on your next turn. 
Because when you brace, yeah. it's uh, you can still uh, you can still be attacked. It didn't roll anything, so I will go ahead. And oh, roll okay, one. okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so I clicked it and it down. didn't do the roll. Three. Uh, roll me another d6. That's system trauma. Uh, that is a system that is torn off or destroyed. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of bend the knee. Alrighty, bend the knee is Gonzo. Um, and that is it for that. Well, Belter. Uh, I feel like nobody's turn is good right now. Um, like I can just get the fuck out, but like, is that gonna? That doesn't feel like I'm doing anything to help. <laughs> we need to start killing stuff. No, we don't. Yeah, you need to start killing we, stuff. We got to damage. We um, got to get to that top left corner. That's fucking yeah. all. If yeah, you want to, you still have an anti mat. You still have the anti mat. It can anti mat can take out one of these in one shot. It could, but I am all engaged, so like everything sucks. <laughs> you can move away and take a hit, or disengage and move away. Yeah, you could full disengage and fly the hell out of this and just. Leave. But then you, yeah, you can't use your you can't use your anti mat if you do anything but use the anti mat because it's ordinance. Um, you just take the difficulty. I'm just gonna take the difficulty for now. All right, what are you shooting? I'm gonna shoot this one, the one between uh, uh, Uso and Riho. Nice, nice. Give me it a has shot. one accuracy, but then one difficulty yeah, as one well. Difficulty. I think. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yep, yep. Just gonna be straight roll. Pray for high die. Fifty-fifty shot. <sighs> it's giving yeah. me accuracy for some reason. Yeah, just oh, added because I haven't added difficulty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's innate. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm saying. Damn it. Nope. I can't get anything in this. City. Oh, no. All Rip right. City. In Anti-mat that unloaded. that case, I am just going to... Moving at all is going to pro- promote, provoke a, a reaction attack, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Even if I stay within its threat. Um, Because that's that's only how D&D works. Um, I know this thing is going to do exactly my my current health as damage um, if it hits me uh yep. so how about i just hmm. you know what i'm just gonna start taking the damage um i'm just gonna i'm gonna lose some shit and that's fine i you have it. two health I, I have three health bars left i'm fine um, <laughs> exactly. So I am going to fly. I'm not t- first. I'm, I'm not going to target myself. Uh, that's not. That's something cool. I'm not going to do. Um, I am going to. Can I? I have to move here. And... Yeah. If you're flying, you can. Uh, you can just go straight. Can I? No, I can't get like. Can I go over him? No, that would probably take movement to like get over him because he's very large. No, no, no. You you can fly as high as you can go far, so you can move up and and go across four spaces. Okay, and that won't use extra movement if I want to go over him. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I am going to then go here. Just fly fly right over him. I'm gonna give myself two heat. In the process, last at you with its claws, hoping to nip you out of the sky. That is a hit for six damage. I'm just gonna take it. I gotta, I gotta keep moving. Because of adhesive secretions, first the first character damage on each turn. Yeah. Uh, give me an engineering save. Engineering save. All right. The um. The structure didn't do anything again when I clicked the button. Uh, okay, uh, roll me. You're good. Uh, roll me two d six. Our saves are good. Saves, saves are good. saves are on point. Six. That's for the. Uh, roll me another d six. You take the lowest of the. Uh, oh right, yeah, I forgot. My bad. Uh, four. That is system trauma. Roll me another d six as something is blown off. D six. I feel like we weren't prepared for a bug hunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is another six. Another system is blown off. Um, okay. If you if you blow off personalizations, you lose two HP. 
I'm gonna keep the personalizations. Actually, I'm losing my flight. I'm if already blow off flight I've flown systems, as much as you, I need to. You can't. So the reaction would have happened when you started your movement, <laughs> so you wouldn't have been able to fly there. Oh uh, well, systems. in that case, I have to lose the personalizations. Otherwise, that thing I just did didn't happen. So. Yep. Uh, give me a second so to blowing go. up personalization. I got you. I already, I already knocked it out for you. Oh, you already knocked it out. Okay, cool. Yep, that puts you at a ten of ten. All right, that's fine. Um, so that was my quick action movement. I still have another quick action. Um, yes. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is let's get out. Uh. <sighs> Oh, did you? You I, fired your anti mat, right? Yeah, you yeah, fired your anti mat, and then you uh -huh. moved. Yeah, so I can't. You, I can't uh, fire my weapons again because that would be a, a barrage. So I guess all I'm gonna do is jump down. <laughs> cool. You can still fly because you're. I can still fly, right? Okay, so yeah. I can move one, two, yep. three, four. I'm gonna boost and get to the destination. Alrighty, flying to the destination. I, the I believe that it's going to was... get. Oh, no, no. The heat doesn't happen until the end of my turn, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Is that the and end I, of your turn, Valari? That is my turn, unfortunately. Alrighty. Got one person in the objective, at least. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Which of these spine whoopers have gone already? The one next to Heartbreak, I think? Yeah, that one went. Alrighty. Spine warper next to the champ is going to ram the champ not my battle buddy Ew. Ew. ram the champ knocking the champ down and then it will grapple the champ just holding you down me. there <laughs> um and then it's uh yeah so this is a grapple attack on the champ Let's see what happens Oh, it comes in at one accuracy. So, yeah, it'd be six. Mm. Well, that is a hit. <laughs> Champ, you are grappled by the Spine Whopper, and you will not be able to move away unless you break the grapple. And that's the end of its turn. Y'all's turn. I'm ready to go. I wish I fucking could. Same. <laughs> well, uh, if no one has any other complaints... Uh, I'll just, I'll see Rico in the, in the, uh, what is it? The exit zone or whatever. And I'll turn around and see the shenanigans happening behind me. And I'm just going to beat the crap out of this thing with my, uh, charged blade. And okay. look, at, look at the champ and be like, we gotta go! <laughs> um, I don't believe I get any funky bonuses for it being an unless you have duelist right yeah unless yeah unless you have duelist or nope yeah. i got nothing finally kerpow that was a big hit for six damage ap cutting through the spine warper whelp bring it down to a nasty number it looks bloodied and scarred um hmm fucking good I have a question. Wait, yeah. crap. Grappling is a full action, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a quick action. It's oh, quick it, action. oh. Um, if I grappled this thing and then just started heading towards the, like, end, would that work? Would I also drag yes. the champ along because I'm a big boy? Mm -hmm. You would not. Uh, grappling and moving it would break away, would stop the grapple It's on. it has on the champ. Well, I'm A-OK -okay with doing that. It'll help her be able to actually fucking move, <coughs> and I can head towards the, uh, to the extraction point, so... Got you. And I'm gonna keep my diamond shell up on the spine warper hero, because he scares me. Okay, yeah. But I'm gonna... Take another hit, uh, heat. Yep. But I'm... In the meantime, I'm just gonna ignore him. Okay. Give me that grapple. Yeah, where's... This is basic attack. Did I, like, remove the basic attack from my... Fucking... Oh, if you just if you just put it, press T over it, it'll, it'll automatically prompt you. Oh. Or whatever, do the targeted thing. Hey, there we go. There we go. 
And uh, oh, yeah, you were, I missed. You're impaired. Yeah. Yeah. You're no longer impaired now. Well, if you that's tried. that, I'm just going to move away from this thing now, I guess. It's cool. It cannot react to you because it's grappled. Okay. Uh. That's my turn. Alrighty. I'm running. Um Spine Whopper mm. Whelp near Heartbreak. Ooh, Heartbreak's prone too. Yep. Heartbreak, you're getting locked on to and you're getting grappled. As it is gonna try and hold you there as well. Let's see. Uh this is a regular grapple. Gonna drag you off to eat you. Eat both of you. It's a hit. You're a gra you're a grapple. Fuck. Oh god. You mean? You know uh, what? It is you know what? Even if it, this is if this is how Riho dies, at least we'll have some cool <laughs> video footage mission? to put on the internet. <laughs> have you just been recording this the whole time? Yeah, maybe. Hey guys, this is my Twitch stream. Oh my god, crabs! <laughs> it's not live. There's not a good enough connection for that. That's fair. All right, who's left that can go? Uh, Valaria's gone, Buzo's gone, Champ oh, and uh, Heartbreak, I think it's right? just Heartbreak and Champ. Oh, just yeah. Heartbreak? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Champ, yeah. Uh, well, do you, so I'm grappled. I'm prone and grappled. <laughs> so. So the Champ, you can just smack the thing that's grappling you. It's already looking bloodied and okay. just, yeah. Hulk smash so yeah, you shit. can use your uh, you can use your heavy melee to skirmish it. Um, oh, heavy melee. Body pull. Yeah, it's probably that's probably what you want to use. Can I? Does the click the button? Not your gun, yeah. Is this working? Okay. Huh? <laughs> smash. No. Ooh. God damn it! I told Missed. you we needed to pause and go burn incense. <laughs> <laughs> we have done so many attacks and. I think we've hit once. We were not prepared for a bug hunt. I did one I damage one time. <laughs> um, you have another quick action, which um, you can try and break the grapple if you want to. Yeah, I mean, the fuck else am I going to do? <laughs> you can overcharge and try and hit it again, or you can use it with that quick action. You can lock onto it. Overcharge and try and do the the heavy melee again. You do have heat to spear. Wait, like right now I could do that. Yes, All of yes. That? You can overcharge right. You can uh, you can use your quick action, other one that you have remaining, to lock on uh -huh. to make sure you hit, and then you overcharge to use your heavy melee again. Um. Yes, I want to do that. Cool. So you lock onto this thing as it is grappling you. Press mm -hmm. the overcharge button. Wait. You know, give you some heat. You do. You have a good amount of heat to spare. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. And then give me another heavy melee attack. This will be at a. Uh... And actually, don't you have accuracy because you're grappling something? Oh yeah. I thought I had to yeah, be add, the one. Add like, me. Just grappling. No, no. Just as long as you're grappling something. So roll me a d6. Oh. Just to see, uh, see, see if you would have hit. Because that brutal. Um, no, that is unfortunately going to be a miss. Okay. But this time you have two accuracy, so give me another hit. Well, two, the wait. other accuracy is coming from you. Yeah. Wait, so another, another, another heavy melee? Yeah. So the that D six was because you should have had accuracy on your last attack. This one is because you overcharged. You're overcharging to hit it again. Am I consuming the lock on too? So it's coming. It'll be at. It'll yeah. be at two accuracy. One because lock on, and one because uh, your brutal talent. All right, so. Whoa! I don't know what I just did. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Uh, that is. Wait, that what? Is a... oh. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. That's yes. That's a... Finally, yes. We did. We did. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you finally got that. The brute. Wait, 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 wait. We got it. We got it. What is the magical girl attacking gender? Oh, uh, That's uh, a shitty special name. move. Yep, she's one. looking it up. Explosion blade. Oh wait. Oh, Explosion, went out. Went out. blade. <laughs> Explosion blade. Explosion blade. As this thing is punched in twain, and its body goes flying in other either which direction. 
It's uh, blood dripping onto the ground. The best part is she hit danger zone like right to do this too. So it's like all of a sudden gouts of flame come out of her and just <laughs> doosh, doosh. Yeah, that thing is down. <laughs> uh, so now you can stand up and you're no longer grappled. And fuck. Nice. <laughs> and I think you, you actually technically have your, no, 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 you stood up. So you're good. Yes, that's, that's pretty much everything you can do on your Sick. turn. Sick. At least I killed something. God damn. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, cool. The Spine Warper hero is going to hand out lock-ons from the top and clitter and clatter menacingly uh, as it uh, is trying to scare you all away. And that's the end of its turn. Okay. Good news. It's working. Did it yeah, just we'll like, lock on to everybody at once? <laughs> I uh, can only do it once, but uh, yeah, that's that's all it's doing. It's gonna stand on top of its mountain and, and uh, scream at you all. It worked. I'm um, intimidated. Heart, Let's leave. <laughs> heart, heart, heartbreak. Your turn. Um, so I'm grappled and I'm prone. I can't stand like this. I think I just have to make a hull save, right? Uh, you can barrage the thing in front of you and kill the thing that's grappling you. I don't have anything that's melee. Oh God. Um. You have assault rifle, RPG, missile. Ooh. Ooh. You're a, ooh. a crab without claws. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so at the start of your turn, since it's the same size, uh, both of you roll contested hold checks to see who controls the grapple. I rolled above a 10. Finally. Right, let's see. <laughs> hold check to see if they can control the Nothing. grapple. It's going to be a 72. Wow. Yeah. My Whoa. One. You got so it. You can, you can move it, but you are prone. Yeah, so I have to spend my whole move to be prone, right? Uh, so you, yeah, to stand up. You have to spend yeah, your whole so move I stand up. up, and then I can't boost. Um, but I still have my... And not boost, correct. And I don't have a full action, right? Uh, no, no, you you still have a full action. That okay. The contested thing just happens at the start of the... T- cool, the then the I can turn. just... Um, I can, can I just disengage? Uh, yes, yes, you can. Okay, yeah, think, I'm just going to... I think... Yes. Yes. yes, I think you can, yes. All right, so I'm just going to disengage so I'm no longer grappled, and then I can... That's my full action, so then I have to overcharge to boost to get out of here. Yes, correct. Okay. Run away! Um, yeah, so it's time for overcharge. Got gotcha. you. Um, I took um, some overheat, some reactor damage. Um. It, oh, reactors work. Nice. Uh, yeah, you're impaired. You're fine. Okay. No so, yeah. Go. So, I move one, Skedaddling two, out three, four away from this guy. Alrighty. I think that's literally all of my actions. <laughs> oh, shit. Does your mech make Zoidberg sounds when you escape? <laughs> it's just, it's just, fall, it's just, there's so much heat and steam coming out of it as I wrestle this thing off of me and just flee. <laughs> across the terrain as quickly as yeah. possible, uh, waiting for the chicks starts... to help. <laughs> it starts clicking and rattling. I can't rattling even help because I can't even um, help myself. <laughs> the next one is going to, the one to the south is going to move over here. Oh, that smoke grenade is definitely long gone. Oh yeah. It's gonna move over there and it is going to, let's see here, let's see here. Sees that you guys are running away. It's going to lock on to Heartbreak and also clitter and clatter and pop its spine in and out so it can scare you all away, looking menacingly. And that is the end of uh, that Spine Warper's turn. I think that's everybody, right? We're at a new round. Now. Yeah, that's the end of uh, that's end of round four. We'll start of round five. You got all... So you guys get to sense that they're not going to pursue you anymore unless you try and shoot them. Then they will destroy you. Please, let's just go. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. I am a okay with running away. Yeah, if they're not chasing us, I don't think it's going to matter anymore. But just for future reference, in case we do this sit rep again, can a person in the extraction zone continue to like do things, or am yes. I like off yes. the map? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. You can, you can definitely do things. Okay. Yeah. Because I was planning on locking on to the hero and then trying to impair it with the nexuses again, but um, don't need to do that, I guess. If they're trying to let, if they're letting us run away, they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they are. Uh, they, they think they're scaring you away or defending, defending their own. But um, I mean, they yeah, are. they start clear clattering <laughs> and such. And uh, as you all uh, make it past, push through their home, 
you're able to continue forward towards this uh, securitous or through this securitous cavern and towards a facility that you see starts to break through the end of the cavern as you see a tall building uh, with a ship that's landing, that's arriving overhead, not a ship, but a plane. It goes, and it starts landing down to a bay and you start to see, uh, or hear rather, shots. <laughs> kind of burst out and hit the plane and kind of shoot in the air, anti-air uh, shots. And that is the location where you all are headed. Oh no. How to the... Mm. How to the nest and into the frying pan. Do we... <laughs> are there any telltale yeah. signs on that ship that's being shot? Yes, yes. It. Uh, you would probably know that it is a Caliphate Apicia ship or it has uh, some insignia. Maybe it's like uh, the Makana, like the dagger. That's kind of plastered around the, uh, the uh, as like a decal. Oh boy. Such. All right. Um, you yeah. all do get a short rest though. Goody. So you can well, use your repairs to repair your mechs. I will I was, say, gonna like look at the the battle happening in the distance and like be like, we are not going to be any use to anyone if we are too damaged. <laughs> we should take a second, repair as much as we can, and then move as, and then move quickly. You know, I'm gonna say it if no one else will. I'm going to be pissed if it turns out this Ivana bitch sent us out into the middle of nowhere to be eaten by bugs. <laughs> do we, um, when we take a short rest, do we reset our overcharge as well? No, overcharge stays. Okay. Stays. Oh, so boy. What, so can, how, that's bad. how does, like, can, repair work and shit? <laughs> so you can use, because you're an Everest, you can use one repair to repair one structure. So you have five repairs left, Rio, so you can use one repair to go up to full structure. You can use one repair to restore your HP to max. And I think that's literally all you, well then, um, let's see. So what else happened to you, Riho? What else got destroyed on you? Keep your attack. My uh, um, weapon mount. Your, the one, yeah, your two. mount's gonna take, it's gonna take two repairs to repair both of those weapons. You can repair one with one repair. But there isn't another encounter after this. This is you guys' last encounter. Mm. All right. Um, I think I'm going to use... Um, hmm. I'm so there's use... no reason to not use all the repairs at this point, right? You can, Yeah, you can stabilize in an encounter and, and you know, use more repairs to your HP. But uh, as far as, like, you want to come into a battles with, like, you know, tip-top condition. Sick. Also, can't we share uh, repairs amongst each other in a party? No. Never Only mind. a Lancaster can do that. Right. Damn. Rip. All right, I have four repairs left, I think. Yes, so I'm going to get my two structure back. And then Alrighty. I get to get one system back. Do y'all think I should get the smoke grenade back? I feel like that's what I'm going to need. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So okay. I'm gonna use all my repairs, and then I will still ha not have the person of the Oh wait, hold on, hold on. So you're, you do your structure one for one. So mm -hmm. you, if you, you had uh, what, four repairs left? Yeah. So yeah, you just uh, use two repairs, bring you down to two repairs to bring back your structure to max. What's, and then what'd you repair? And then I, I would require two oh, okay, to get my, my, my smoke charges reset. back, right? No, one. Oh, it's one just one. Smoke charges. It's one free yeah. system. But then you oh, also have a person. Yeah. You also have personalizations. Okay, so yeah, if I can get both of them back, then yes, I would love to get both of them back. Cool. What about heat? Does our heat, heat... just goes away? It goes away. Automatically. Cool. Cool so down. Yep. Getting everything back. Exact mundo. Going up to max HP. So El what? Rico. What was the conversion that you said to like get my oh, weapon I accidentally mount? set myself to two hundred and twelve. Um, so Clara, your weapon mount is, it's a uh, one repair for one weapon. Right. And since there's two weapons. So I could, so with two points, I could get both of them back though. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Alrighty. They are repaired. Your left hook, right hook, auxiliary melees. Yep. And you go down row repair and then, yep. Then I think you're good, Claire. Uh, Buzo and Heartbreak, you guys are. Looks like you guys are set. Yep, I spent two repairs and now I'm in tip top shape. I got lucky getting impaired. Yeah, you did. Um, let me see. Heartbreak, are you good? I think yeah, so. Like, so yeah, I get yeah, half good. my HP back, so my HP's fine, and then I spent one to get my one structure back. 
Um, but I would still have to spend two to get back my one reactor. So, yeah, your stress, yeah. So I guess I'm just going to stay here. And then, yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty rough. Um, that was nasty. Yeah, it was a pretty rough counter. Um, but yeah, as you guys uh, press forward and uh, spend time to repair your mechs safely away from the spine warpers, um, you do see and hear the sounds of a battle occurring at this base before you. And uh, we won't start the encounter, but I will show you it. Uh, as you approach, you see this base, a large, large landing pad before you. And it is uh, blowing up. There's there's uh, uh, sounds of fire, air and fire, and uh, explosions at the base to the north. Yes, you see this base, and uh, there are forces that are right now landing and dropping from the ships. These uh, caliphated pieces of ships are landing above. Um, there are none here yet, but uh, when you guys start your turn or start the, the round, the encounter, there will be some that arrive. Your mission on this one will be to retrieve the green groups of people and bring them back to uh, a standing uh, ship in front of you. Okay. Rescue. Go. Uh, that I have a I have a expanded compartment. Nice. So we might Ooh, be able yeah, to we might inside, be able yeah. to to grab multiple groups of these at the same time. Yeah, you can just put them inside. But uh, the Caliphate of as you kind of look up in the air, you see the types of mechs that are coming down, and uh, you probably get a good sense that you have uh, a Caliphate of egg pattern, which is basically a cedar with some special shit. A Caliphate of Pisha Rampager, which is basically an Eastawal and Gucci Gucci. And uh, two Caliphate of Pisha Egg E Warfare patterns, which are Tokoloshes. They're like witches, but you know. I don't like and any some squads. of these. <laughs> and some squads that are that are dropping down from above. Oh boy. Yeah, but they come in, they come in uh, at in like waves, so they're not all gonna come in at once, so come in two at a time. You said there's gonna be Wallons? Oh no. Yes, 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 yes. Fairly nasty. This okay. is going to be a rough encounter. Not as bad as the last one. The last one was, you guys are just missing a lot. Yeah, but we got to save people now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Cool. Um, yeah, we can uh, we can end it there. We can end it there. That was a oh that was a rough one.